right. It's going. It is 630, so let's go. Uh, All right. You guys you are going to make that happen. You guys have now discovered that you are in a large cave area following, uh, running from a storm and hiding in um, what looked like a low building. Uh, actually reveals itself to be a large mine. Uh, you can deduce that from the tracks, uh, the mine tracks that you obviously did not notice last time you were here. If I have an important question, which is where is the wizard and his retinue of skeletons? Oh, he's outside the storm. Skeletons keep walking no, away. Let's go check on him and leave this place. Uh, did we long rest before we went in? We no, did, right? No. No, we you, guys, you guys were looking for a rest. Okay. And then ran inside. But the we did was not rest. <laughs> and okay. then we did a, a hum and a hum and right. I turned around because it was All a right, mine. so I, I, I pause it. So the, the storm is over at this point, right? Mostly. I, there, I there, pause the, it. The storm mostly quieted after the conch shell had been blown and the enormous... Sort of like pit like monster had been slain. I, I posit that I would have waited out the storm from the safety of Aleoman's tiny hut ritual. I hadn't been that could long. Could have gotten really. in one it of those. Fairly reasonable. reasonable. Um, is there it's been is like this, ten minutes? <laughs> is this a is this a functional bridge? You mean the one that is clearly not functional with all the scribble on it? I don't know what that oh. scribble means. What does the scribble mean? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah washed away or got charged. for it. I'm sure you'll make it. Yeah, uh, me, uh, uh, skeletons do a bridge like barrel of monkey. Glojo made it. It's only ten feet. It's true, Glojo did make it. Um, that bridge had been blown away by the storm, and the bridge near uh the rest of the party is hanging by a single strand. No, it was fixed. The bridge by us got mended. Remember. Did you? Oh, that's right, yes. Yeah. Far can my character jump? <laughs> Basic long jump. Roll uh, acrobatics. As as you want him to. Number of feet oh. up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet before the jump. Wow. It's not very many feet. That is um, way less snarky and sarcastic than I would have come up with. But thanks, my friend. I really appreciate it. I didn't actually know there were rules <laughs> was, for it. I just thought you had to I roll. Was looking, yeah. Long jump is that. Standing jump is half that distance. High this jump is going to come up with a shitty answer. So, three plus your strength modifier for a high jump. All right. Well, I'm I'm not the the, the other bridge works, right? Lexi is a six foot vertical leap, and he can dunk with both. Hands. I want to yell, Mr. Wu, go get some crystals. <laughs> I am. I'm okay. First, I'm not going to try to jump that. I'm going to misty about, step across. What about a hop over here? Um, These rocks look like a. But you made a spell slot. It's, it's it's extremely extremely not something that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to. I want to. I'm going to take my skeleton's weapons first. Um, I'm going to. I mean, if I need to abandon them here, <laughs> they're going to be mad when we come back. Uh, so I'm going, to, I'm going to take I'm going to take their guns or bows <laughs> first. Um, I'm going to misty step across, issue a command to the skeletons to see if they can climb down, walk across, and climb back up. <laughs> if they can't, if they can't make it across, uh, I guess I'll go in without skeletons. But I want to see if uh... they can do it first. So what about this rocky thing? path to the east? Rocky Could they clamber the over that? Um, See how behind this hut it looks like it sort of goes down here? I don't know what that is. If that's meant to be well, that asphalt that terrain that or not. Would have been useful to to know about a spell slot <laughs> ago, but <laughs> I was pinging it over here. It's off screen. I can't see off screen ping. He also mentioned it. Too. I wasn't listening. There's a lot of mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, uh, you know, Brigger could say those are razor sharp peaks or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just blobs on the map. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Misty stepping across. Brigger, I want to so try to get the skeleton. I want to, so I want to see if they can make it across. Here. across um, the skeletons kind of plunge into the sea and disappear for a moment. But the, uh, <clears throat> the storm society. society <laughs> Uh, and the sea is sort of frothing around where you are, but it is not active in the way it was um, even just 10 minutes ago um, before you killed the sort of like pit. I mean, before we did, he didn't really do anything. But yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, but before before the rest of your party were like really did some shit, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, half of the things they so, killed they summoned themselves. Uh, I mean, one. Yeah, that, <laughs> this was one. largely what happened. Um, as fun. as so, a little a few seconds longer than you would have expected, but these skeletons pop up back out of the ocean on the side of the bridge. They can have their bows back, and I'm going to have them follow me. <laughs> uh, and I guess I'll... I see, yeah, we we probably see them coming and meet up over there. I'm like, hey, we <clears throat> check that out to mine. We, did we want to check out this, um, the statue and the crystals? I think it's a good idea. Go into the mines? I think we should. Yeah. So while you clambered over, we peeked into the mine and confirmed it was a mine. Now let's head for the crystal. <laughs> mine confirmed. Not that we thought it was a mine to start with, but it is. Yeah, also, like, is... Now that we got a good look at it's it. It's on a tiny island in the middle of... What kind of mine is? Look, I would <laughs> like to go look at you played the eyes. Minecraft. Sounds like somebody that's never played Minecraft before. Yeah. The underwater temple. I want to go look at the statue's eyes or the eye sockets for him. So I, I want to study this um this statue here. See if I can figure oh. out what it is or what Don't it does. Study. Adam is you its eyes. investigating the the area where the eye sockets were. Yeah. Um and there is some very um recent charring. Um, and burn marks near the eye sockets, although the eye sockets themselves are completely empty. Oh, shit. Black um, eyes, like a doll's back, eyes. Basically, uh, a, a fairly thick layer of ash. A few millimeters, at least. I don't know what the fuck that is in inches, but... A few cow. What, is the, what does this appear to be a statue of? Use your eye uh, and tell us. I mean... <laughs> It looks like a cephalopod uh, with a very large brain case, a couple of now empty eye sockets uh, covered in char, um, uh, you know, seven or eight tentacles. Like I don't know, you can count. Um, Anything uh, I would recognize beyond being a cephalopod? You don't recognize it as such, but. Um, you do recognize the a statue the, made of uh, an, an aura of power around the statue. The statue is made of silver. What? Silver. Wait. Oh, really? Now I'm paying attention. <laughs> we should uh, perhaps take a big piece of the statue. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a lot of silver. It's a lot of silver. And God damn it! I'm I'm sure it wouldn't. Wouldn't I mean horrible we octopus the, god uh, curse if we were to dismantle this statue and if only we had some sort crap. of magic that could melt silver. Bring her, I would like to uh fireballs. I want to look at the uh I want to look at the dust that's accumulated around the eye sockets. Can I investigate that? Yeah, roll investigation. All right. I will I help him. I grab some crystals before we... uh what am i rolling for this by the way hang on uh i want to help him investigate the eye sockets plus five so d20 plus five do i what do i get do i get advantage for that if mediator's helping, uh, me or mediator's what? helping you he rolls a dc 10 and if he succeeds you get a plus two okay all right let me roll wait Fucking so you... hell so you are are still pretty fucked up. It begins. Wait, do I don't roll anything, do I? Or do I? You you, you can roll something, but it's really not going to help. Not I'm not rolling my own investigation roll. You can roll your own investigation roll if you like. I think at this point, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> <Six. laughs> <laughs> so you're both pretty sure there's some magical shit going on with this statue. Uh, definitely looks fucking 
like a statue? Magical. Give give me ten minutes, Adam. I'll cast detect magic and see whether the statue is actually magical. <laughs> I can detect magic with my detect skin. <laughs> yeah. I can. Why actually, why don't you do that? Because I'm going then, to do we can, that. Then we can have it active on you when we go into the mine, which I think is is just useful generally. It'll save us some time. Yeah. I somehow have not saved that PDF, and I fucking Google it every time. <laughs> no, you're, if you turn on um, playtest content in D&D Beyond, you can actually switch your character over to it properly. That is turned yeah. on. It should be switched over to it properly. Oh, I just haven't done it. Okay. Well, give me uh, a second. Uh, lingering good. magic. You can cast the tech magic without spell or components. Constitution is your ability for this spell. Uh, not that I don't think that does anything, but uh, you can use this feature a number of times equal to your constitution modifier, minimum of once per long rest. So I I did oh man, yeah, I got I could do it three times. Technically I did it once in the last fight between now and then because it, that's when it activated. So I can do it two more times. Find us some magic truffle lizard. So <laughs> you would know more about that spell description though than I do. That's just my barbarian. Magic. It is. Um, I mean, detect magic makes. Yeah. I mean, you perceive magical objects and effects and so forth as sort of a glow. And oh, can... that's right. This this says you faintly glow a color corresponding to the school of magic you detect. I didn't notice that before. So it would say, you know, well, I guess I don't know yet because it just started. It's like, but. I don't know if it would be like, that's the divination color, or whatever schools of magic are. Abjuration. You have to choose the colors. Clownination. Pipe, you seem to be absorbing the light around you. If anything, oh, you're no. glowing black. It seems bad. But it's not huh. great. He's our goth lizard now. Kind of. Dark saber. Almost like it's some sort of dark magic. <clears throat> some sort mm. of cursed bullshit. <laughs> As per usual. I guess I'm uh, bullshit now. Crystals. It's crystal time. Oh. It's that crystal. Sit down. Do I have anything that he wants crystals? Oh, There's harvesting crystals so we can make meth later. Yeah. Still meth. Um. <laughs> Several of the crystals around the statue appear to be um, uh, permanently installed, as if be, they belong to the rocks beneath you. Although um, the majority of the crystals arranged around the statue appear to have been placed there or have been placed into uh, slots designed to hold them, there are about 20% of the crystals around the statue that are... Um, Rolling out of the rock. Don't break him without the magic hammer. I learned that the hard way. Wait, what happened when you did that? I don't you know I, I, like it just. I gave it to Dole. I think I took some no, damage. Hammer. Oh, did you? I'm, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Glojo harvest these in any event. Just resonated poorly one way or the other. Let the skeletons do it. Hammer to harvest them. Why don't you get the skeletons to do it, dude? Or a mage hand? Can a mage hand uh, do damage? I get the hammer to a skeleton. Like a hammer. It can wield a tool. I don't know what was wrong with having Glojo do it, but okay. If you could hit a hammer, if if a mage hand could drive a nail, it could definitely attack something. I trust the skeleton more. I trust Glojo. (laughs) What are you, Pete Buttigieg? If a mage hand can drive a nail, (laughs) the nail can break crystal. (laughs) <laughs> the dream of our promise to restore American values. We can light a dungeon. All right, we can I'm going to let this motherfucker with a fire. I'm going to let the skeleton with one hit point left through the harvesting, so if anything explodes, it won't kill my other skeletons. Wow. Well, I'm going to sort of back off, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I already right, right. did. Yeah, I'm back up. I don't know why we're not just letting Glacier do this. I only have three skeletons. <laughs> I have skeletons right now. We have like two glojos. What shooting it with arrow? But I did that. I was just gonna use the hammer. I was asking. Oh, you had the hammer. Yeah. Oh, you were just gonna use it. I thought I gave it to Dole, but 
Maybe I still have it. I don't know. I have it. I okay. gave it to Bringer, can, I ha can I have the skeleton carefully okay. harvest some uh, some crystals with the hammer? Try. Yes. Um, it turns out that using the hammer with the crystals was probably a good call. As despite these skeletons' rather rough movements, um, he's able to hammer out the rock holding the skeleton, uh, sorry, the rock holding the crystals in place without really any ill effect. And the crystals now become loose, and you are, the skeleton is able to pick them up and gestures towards you with a handful of crystals. Who remembered the hammer? That was a good call. I forgot we had that one. Was, that was me because I took the damage from not using it, and then it was like, oh, hey, idiot, how about this magic hammer you found next to a bunch of those crystals? <laughs> found. Yeah. You know... Our, 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 our lizard is capable is of learning basic style and like reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Look, some people are... are how, how, well do respond, how well do you respond to bells? <laughs> Uh, ding 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 ding. Look, I know bells are a sore subject for you. But Good <laughs> night. Ding ding ding. Let's um let, let's have the harvest, harvest, bells harvest the remainder of the loose crystals. Um uh, after about twenty to thirty minutes of, of um steady work, I mean the magical skeleton just kind of breaks or get too bored. Um like all of you fuckers. The skeleton has amassed a pile of crystals um, about a half a meter high and a meter wide. Um, wow. If we amassed a long rest during that time, while I'm, we I'm going to let's, 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 let's stuff, the, let's oh, stuff the crystals into what is nominally the party's bag of holding. <laughs> I know I you listened to that last, uh, last uh, <laughs> session, so I know you heard about my my plans for that bag. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, crystals go in the bag of holding. Unless, unless someone wants to carry them around otherwise. Bring your over here. I would like to carry one of them, but the rest of them should be on it. I mean, I have an I'm out of character question, carrying as many as he wants to. Lexi wouldn't know about that. Where do you think it's, I'm right. going to attach it to my shark's tooth necklace and put it in the metal. Cool I have a question. You guys, you guys determined that these these huts on the this first island didn't have anything in them except for the one that had uh, conch. Uh, the 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 conch in it. So uh, they determined like, they didn't have anything did in them unless they had a game changing item in them, and it, they didn't check any more of them. Uh, so we were, they were just running like, away we from were... a storm. Okay, Whatever. correct. <laughs> I and, prefer uh, my narrative. <laughs> Shut up. In this thought, hut. We looked in them and they were just like rough sleeping quarters or whatever. I will blow the fucking. No, we didn't look in them. There wasn't any. Do you want to? you want a truffle lizard? The uh, the huts over here. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just oh, marching your bubble. It's, uh, it's like I'm mediator sure finding the skeletons there, buddy. Ghost fragments. I rolled a nate. <laughs> That beautiful bean footage. You're poking around through the, the tents over this area. You don't see too much, but as um, Lexi gets closer, he begins glowing in a pinkish orange color. What the hell happened to you? I don't know. It's what Look, what is... is... It's, uh, it's does it get what, brighter what, what, when I move towards one... Pink? What does pinkish orange correspond to? I don't know. I'm I was sort of cursed with this power and I'm just now figuring it out. <laughs> if you can think of a, a good game explanation why I would know whether it was abjuration versus whatever, then I'll I'll go with it, but I couldn't think of one. So I'm playing it out. I mean, you have my, 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 my good game explanation is that you faintly glow a color corresponding to the school of magic you detect. You choose the colors, so you well, choose which colors correspond to which which schools. It's right there in the right there in the text. It's right there in the text. <laughs> what if I just dis I choose which colors they could be, but not which school? 
I don't fucking know. Okay, here's what I'm saying. What's, what's right, the right, part right. of the magic? There's no rules, lawyer, like an actual lawyer, is there? There's no there's... rule that says a dog can't play basketball. No, pipe rifle. You I think dogs should have phoned. Dog can't go back in time and save people during 9 11. Too much crosstalk. Hold on. What is the source of the magic? What? Pipe, you are feeling drawn to the seven. Okay. If there's that. Uh, I was looking up the schools of magic, uh, and I was, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I would have to determine a color right now for every school, and that's not fun. Go, go, so go, instead, go, I figure, would, go figure out which thing is what's going around here. Search the southern hut instead. I also have a question, which is, uh, sea devils live underwater, right? Yeah. Are, are they known for keeping above, like, on land settlements and, like, building no. huts and stuff? Not at all. Right. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen anyone besides sea devils here, right? I mean, we've killed most of the people we've come across, so... But were they all sea devils? Or did I you encounter so. anything else? Sea devils are shark the people. Sea devils and sharks. The, this is clearly not a sea devil thing. village or encampment or whatever. So yeah, maybe did tentacle whoever, thing whoever these pot- Yeah, shit. Maybe there's a bunch more coming home from work any minute now. For your, is there anything in the central hut? Uh, central hut really doesn't have too much in the way of interesting items. Um, you find. Um, a couple there is a single bed and a small um night table next to the bed containing some of the red paint you guys have seen before and a small dagger i'll take some of the red paint i want to search this uh southernmost hut with pipe Well, what are your thoughts on dogs voting? Obviously, they should be able to vote. There's no law against it, as far as I'm concerned. I actually think uh, there are. They they sh- they should be able to, they should be eligible to vote by uh, by age three and to run for president by age five. As in freedom, mm-hmm. look at makes sense. I mean, see that dog. What's in the What's in the lower hut? Uh, the lower hut has a single bed, but there is a small table beside the uh, night table um, where a creature could sit and organize their thoughts. And on that table is a map. Let's look at the map. What's it a map of? It's a map of the coastline. Uh, there is a circle drawn around Salt Marsh. Okay. Um, well, that's a shitty place to draw a circle around. <laughs> Show it to the is, bird. Is it the... I want him to remember it in case someone fucks up our map again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold a map. We should have the bird next make... Listen, this solves the problem. We should. Okay? We should have. We should have the bird make a copy of the map for sure. Sure. I want to. I want to hold on to the original. Let's, let's, oh yeah. All right. All right. <clears throat> I guess I'm rolling. Can, can I'm doing do something. It? I mean, isn't that innate ability you have? Do you really need to roll for that? It's up to the DM. Is is there a chance of? I am proficient to, in to, for, to, forgery, to, but I guess since we have unlimited time, yeah, you don't need to make it, it look like an authentic. Yeah, and I'm not the time. We'll just map. Yeah, and I'm and I'm not going out of memory. I'm just doing like I have the map here, so I guess it's probably not a roll. Yeah, you you don't have to go off memory for this one. Yeah, you can just basically. I do that. Identical the copy as as you like. Yeah, I do that. Identical. Okay. (laughs) What was what was the what was the source of the uh, the glow down here? That was pipe. Was but, pipe rifle, why were you drawn to this? I'm, this I would, 
look under the table, maybe? As Black Rifle looks under the table. <laughs> Isn't that the only thing in the room? He finds a small... A the table eats him. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, as he looks under the table, he finds a small tooth. Hmm. Congrats. The tooth pipe is the tooth glowing. <laughs> no, I'm glowing when I do. I glow brighter when you, I pick you, up the tooth. You you definitely glow a little bit you, brighter as you, you pick up the tooth. Okay. Magic on you. Sense the presence of magic, and you can use your action to see a faint aura around anything in the area that bears magic. I believe in glowing this case, mine overrides that. Uh, the thing says that you cast the detect magic spell, it and says, you, you and you also glow. glow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't replace the detect magic spell with something that makes you glow. It's you cast detect magic and also you glow. Yeah, the whole okay. glow piece is basically it's a debuff because anything can see you. There is that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when I concentrate, do I see? Or the tooth does is it glowing everyone's... very brightly for you, Pipe Rifle. Okay. And I is that a thing? Can other people see that? Or when you detect magic, does it make the thing glow to everybody? No, it is it is your your ability. So you see that, but they do not because they are scrubs in your I mean, color, but he glows color the is color of the object and we see him glow. So All color right, is Pipe I, Rifle glowing. I made a list. Unless something overwrites this, I guess. I started trying to go for uh, for alphabetizing with the color, then I said, fuck it, red for fireball. Red as hell. <laughs> it's great. It's a great color. Well, because I looked, I'm like, what is uh, evocation? Oh, fireball. Shit. Yeah, okay. Be, that one, you need to be like danger red. <laughs> I sense something I is being created nearby. Like, pull for <laughs> identifying fireball traps, for example. Yeah. What color is the tooth? So, unless something so overrides the tooth, is whatever. glowing a kind of a, it is shimmering kind of red and orange to pipe rifle. Okay. Can I, can I cast identify on the tooth? I'm gonna tell people that I found a magic tooth. <laughs> Apparently, can you handle the tooth. God damn it! <laughs> I'm going to. Charge I, and pop and sink the tooth the, into his neck. I pick up the tooth and see what happens. I have yeah. picked up the tooth. Yeah. And he's, he's, is, is he okay, Bringer? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like embedded in the table, or did I find it underneath, like just on the floor? It was underneath and on the floor. Okay. I would like to cast Identify on the tooth. It's a ritual, isn't it? Um, yeah. Um, How about 11 minutes? just carry it around and not worry about it? I <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you like to know what the eh. incredibly magical tooth you're carrying around does? Eh. I stand Probably. on this bridge to the south and think about how stupid sharks are. <laughs> oh boy. In what are you doing? I mean, Everybody's I got a death wish. It's the end of the happening for some Just hanging out. All right, if you have a better use for the next 11 minutes. Sharks are stupid. <laughs> I, will, I will hand over the tooth to Mediator. Adam, look at Chad. And, and leave him on this island to do his ritual. Like in-game chat, Adam. <laughs> I see it. I see, okay. I see it. God, this it goes further than I thought. Can I identify the tooth? Uh, No, but as it you are not... casting identify on it, you are able to communicate with the creature Sorry, say that again. As Got you it. are casting Identify on it, you are able to uh, touch a creature through the casting. And That's touch. not normal. That doesn't... Um... It doesn't appear to be friend. Oh. 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 Is this like the like, blow on Kylo it. and Ray shit where it's like, I can, I can see you. Where are you? Like, you can just really... <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, extremely upsetting. <laughs> it's extremely upsetting, Adam. 
Adam Driver impression. <laughs> that was an amazing Adam Driver what impression. What exactly am I leaving while I'm, while I'm starting the spell? I needed that in my life. What was that? What exactly is happening when I start to cast the spell? You I'm are supposed... given a brief contact with a creature whose primary thought is to murder. Stand. Bum, bum. Wait, primary thought is what? Cut out for me. Maybe it's uh, maybe the tooth oh, is. Grr. Oh, interesting. Daryl. So, like in the in the process <laughs> of casting the ritual, I am. I like attune to a creature that is thinking about hunger. Yes. How it's far? Like how how long into my eleven minutes does this happen? Uh, it's one minute, and it happens. <laughs> Do what happens I would if you go it's... another minute. <laughs> the vibe I'm getting is strange. I don't want to hear about like the conch you're, you're ever meditating. again. <laughs> yeah. Like you meditate as part of the ritual and you're in a dark space and something I, else I, I mean, in there with you. I, mean, I, guess, I guess really turns are in six second increments. Uh, let's go a little bit longer and see if anything else interesting happens. Let's just stand here and watch him. Just stand by. Stand by. Nothing in the psychic realm changes over the one minute that you are continuing to wait for things. However, the rest of the party that is standing by and waiting notices that the wind has picked up once again. Let's um let's let's shelve the identification oh, sure. uh, ritual for now and I'll I'll, I'll I'll identify that with a spell slot later. Um, uh -huh. I don't want to do this for eleven minutes, but I can do it for. But one is probably fine. Um, I'll have to do it after we rest. But I'll I'll stop I'll stop casting for now. Um, um and, immediate or roll perception? Uh, mm. sure. I bet he's doing, doing that. I team. look into his hut down to the south. Uh, you see a hut with a number of chains uh, against the wall um, and a three high bunk bed where chained creatures could have been given to sleep. Hmm. Where, where what? Uh, they could be chained to the wall and still reach the bed. Mediator, you're pretty sure the tooth is now larger than it was. That's incredible. That's extremely interesting. But maybe we, I, I think we should shelve communing with the tooth for the time being. What if the teeth doesn't want to stop? Oh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this is some Destiny Warlock stuff. So, I mean, sea devils worship a shark god, I'm pretty sure. So, my guess is it's related to that somehow um like to commune with it under different circumstances so let's do that later what if hear me out i stick it in my mouth and see what happens <laughs> 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 Just saying. I had the tooth. I Go for it. Oh, the tooth is a pipe rifle. I think he can carry I it. I don't. Okay, I'll carry it. I don't this think I would. Yeah, this is this is like a this is like a, an eye or hand of Vecna kind of deal. <laughs> it's the, the it's the tooth of Sekalath. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in like a little <laughs> side pouch. And see if it uh, grows until it gets at, like a, a pouch that's just about as big as a tooth. Well, no, probably bigger. How many that. pouches do you have? Are you are you drawn by Rob Leefield? <laughs> yes. He has no feet, I, though. I assume I would have like a coin pouch size thing. <laughs> a good place for a tea. Cargo shirt with a cargo jacket. Yeah. But, wow. 
or I mean, a backpack, I suppose. Would we like to explore these? Would we like to explore these huts further? Do, I mean, yeah. Mine. What's our plan? Bob Dole's looking down at the ones at the south. Sorry, I think it, different. It would be a good idea to try to melt the statue down. Isn't the or wind like, picking up? Break off pieces. Did everyone of it. forget that he said that? I mean, that that was Bob too. Dole has more chains against it and two two by bunks. Um, where a number of awesome. small creatures could be chained up and rest. But otherwise empty. Otherwise empty. Okay. So it's like the. the I'd like to the help Dole search the other huts down here. Oh yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Bullshit. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Bringer. Us. Can you guys come with us? Bringer, I mean, has I'm the wind me. picked up anymore? Uh, the wind is continuing to howl at uh, a higher frequency than it was um, after you guys had eradicated the. Starlight pit type monster. It's um, breezy. God, guys, we need to go into the thing. Breezy. We go into the mine now. Uh, I mean, there's Bob Dole. That hut has something. more chains throughout it. Um, and there is um evidence of dried blood on one of the bunks. Seems like it's the bedtime hut. <laughs> I'll check this one. We just assume we're checking whichever one we've planned. Uh, pipe, uh, again, more chains in that hut, um, as well as a small shrine to the god of luck. What? The god of luck? Where is pipe? Because I want, I want to look at whatever he's looking at in here. This one. Like a personal little shrine or does it have exactly a, it is a it is a very place. small little shrine to Tamora. Lady York. Place a single gold coin next to it. Yeah, couldn't hurt. With that idea. So well, right. Okay. So clearly yeah. So especially obvious that these are not sea devil huts. Sure. Um, uh I think we should check out the rest, the, these last two, and then go back to the big one. Uh, oh yeah, can we see across the way here as we get down? I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Ah uh, yeah, there is a another small little spit o land kaboot. Hey, sure. look at that fireball. So we can't. I wouldn't get on it now, but <laughs> if it looks like it's safely tethered, that's a good idea. Keep in mind. It's uh, yeah, it's actually this little the the islands around provided a little bit of shelter from the growing storm, and the small vessel there uh, is rocking at anchor, but is not being smashed against the the pylon. So, Bringer, the wind, the wind right. is making it difficult to communicate beyond more than um, somebody that's ten or fifteen feet. Hey Bringer, I I'm right here, and I want to see what's down this bridge. Uh, I'm also not there, but on the that one next to it, I would like to see what's down that bridge. Boy, some places. I telepathically you tell we're like so to split get, up to get their ass over here to the main island because telepathy doesn't matter on that shit. Yeah, we're we're checking these last two, and then gesture to go back. Did, from... did, did the truffle lizard find anything? Uh... In any of these other huts, I'm not sure how many we've searched at this point. No, the Swarm Lizard's been through most of the huts. Um, nothing's had much more than um, what you would describe as maybe prison bunks or um, or bunks where, where shackled beings can be laid to rest before resuming whatever's required of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wave my I wave the team over to check this hut with me. We should let's check out the solo hut. Yeah, yeah. I tell everybody there's nothing but blood and telepathy is very persuasive. I'm also telling Glojo telepathically, tell me if anything Wait, is up we, over there. Why, why would we, we all go across the bridge, bridge the storm for one hut? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Did you hear the isolated? Sorry. Y'all get fucked. You get this kind of good tossing. Um, you see a number of relatively recent publications from uh, Baldur's Gate, 
the large city up the coast. Screenshots of as Baldur's well Gate Three. As, um, a um, newspaper from Salt Marsh, uh, fairly recent. Uh, Is that what's the latest in Salt Marsh? Have the have the kobolds uh, taken over? <laughs> So the newspaper is more recent than your last um, touch in Salt Marsh, and it looks like the city has been uh, placed under martial law, um, and there is a oh, martial law. Um, significant <laughs> issue with supplying the city. There is uh, basically the, the the story goes on to read that the royal authorities have uh, seized all of the food and are rationing it out um, in half ration and that the city cannot be resupplied. Um, the story is a little bit vague about why that is. It seems to take for granted that you would know why uh, Salt Marsh is in this state. On the, one hand, it, it, on the one hand, it sounds like a plot hook, and on the other hand, I never cared for that town anyway. <laughs> oh, the place stinks. Oh, oh, oh. Don't oh, you remember during World War II all, all the articles that you had said, in mind? You know, Germany invades Poland because World War II is happening. They had to keep saying it. <laughs> I scoured this bridge for a second and think how overrated pretty white sharks are. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I stand there behind him with my new tooth being like, hey, come on, move it. <laughs> Wait, wait, stupid wait. idiot shark's gonna bite us. Nice, nice tooth. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. god, that guy almost killed us. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. All right, I am not actually taunting hypothetical sharks. Let's I was. go already. It's in my hut. I want to know what's in my Yeah, we didn't go this final bit with Glojo here. Uh, oh, Glojo, yes. your your building has no. Um, no shackles inside of it. Um, it does smell um, kind of like pipe rifle. Um, and I've been rained on thoroughly. <laughs> it has Use excuse. It it really has and yet you still stink. You just uh, picked up a dirty magic tooth to put in your mouth. I did uh, not put it in my mouth. So we found a magic. We found a magic shark god tooth. So this was not a, this in, this uh, tossing of the huts was not a wash. We'll definitely want to put this on a deck. <laughs> Think in there? Is that all that's in there? Yeah, the deck magic does that. last up to 10 minutes, too, so I can... If it Anything over here? ...comes out while I'm around. There's another little spit of land popping up with another small vessel and a cluster of three huts at the end of the spit. Oh, looks like we've got some more huts to, uh, to search. Come on, type right Let's go search these huts. Yeah. Rut row sharky. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything in one of the huts you find a, a crude drawing on one of the walls of a uh a small creature? You're not sure what it is. <laughs> it's a shark with tits. <laughs> 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 that, that, it's it's, Picture it's barely of... more than uh, it's barely more than stick <laughs> figures with hits. Um, but uh, one of them is blowing a horn and summoning uh, creatures from the great depths. Um, while another one is sacrificing. Again, hard to tell what kind of creature is being sacrificed and doing the sacrificing from the crude drawings. Uh, but it looks like a. Somebody is sacrificing something while somebody else blows a horn made of shell, and that is summoning a creature from deep, deep beneath the waves. Hmm. Remember when we shot a fireball at that creature's asshole? Yeah, the artist rendering in the G chat that I. But see, there, there was actual. Episode. I mean, it, it, it seems like this contemplates blowing the conch and. Yeah. Sacrificing something at the same time. You only did half of that. Drink her round two. <laughs> I, uh, I we had someone alive left to sacrifice. I, 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 blood. I, 
I have an idea, and I and I tell my team, "Huh, you want to try something out? I've got an idea." It's the idea, Adam. Give, give us a place to meet so we so, can actually talk. Because yeah, all, yeah. Come, come meet me by the statue, guys. I telepathically tell everyone. Splash. What I want to know is, is oh, I'm just moving my toe in back. all the huts, right, Bringer? That was the most interesting thing in all of the huts. The other huts appear to have been used recently. Again, they kind of stink like pipe rifle. Um, <laughs> I like that and it's not Lojo. stink like Lexi. It's stink like pipe rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, writing like, kind of, kind of a, skunky, right a skunky gummy bear smell. Um, I, I remind everyone great. to come assemble over here by the statue. Okay. That's oh, actually God. uncanny because uh, I told the weed delivery guy to bring me whatever he had. He brought me live resin pod, which has smells way more like weed. And I'm eating Airheads Bites candies. <laughs> so yeah, a weedy <laughs> gummy bear right now. That's not really a fucking low bar to clear. Really I, uh, I tell everyone to back up a little bit and say, watch this. Jesus. <laughs> Everybody check this shit out. Oh, no. are, we, are we not, not going to discuss the plan before you put it into a fashion uh, I don't like that. Get that cons ready, bird face. You have it. Oh, yeah. Are you Sorry. sacrificing your... Wait, why'd you let him have it? I have summoned eight demons of a challenge rating of like one quarter or lower right here. Uh, are, gonna, are you going to sacrifice some demons? We're going to sacrifice some demons, man. <laughs> well, hell, why not? Uh, it's like sacrificing Nazis or zombies. They're fine. Yeah. Everyone hates <laughs> demons. This is like a very possible idea. I kind of lost my shit for a second, Adam. He's trying to give me a bit more about what a shoot time. We didn't even talk about this first. I Have said you... I said you want to see something. That counts. <laughs> Hi there, Bush. <laughs> I'm gonna build a wall around the extra planar <laughs> realm. <laughs> how, many, how many demons did you summon with what CR, Adam? Eight eight demons with a challenge rating of one or love. They just demons. fireball all these demons at once. Some... They have no place in it's my last spell so hearing dimension. We'll rest after this. One quarter or lower? Yep. Do you think he might need the spell <laughs> slot for whatever I... you're about to summon? Wait. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna assassinate, we're gonna sacrifice a bunch of like fucking grub worms or something? Yeah. One quarter CR or lower? Okay. Are there a bunch of corpses oh. here? <laughs> it's not no, really they're dead, but if it wants life essence, this is a pretty <laughs> cheap right, and right. guilt-free way to get it, if I'm honest. Bunch of plague rats or something. Well, so while everyone's idea. arguing, I'm just bouncing foot to foot. This is out of character. Like, like, like no shit tapping my, my bow staff on the ground, just waiting for them to come. <laughs> this is I a good just, idea. I was just being an Adam's advocate, not uh, <laughs> This is incredibly <laughs> obviously a bad idea. <laughs> Bunch of chattering teeth falling from the sky. What the fuck those or whatever the fuck they were before? Really I mean, those things are stronger than that, I think. Yeah. Just really tiny, weak ones. I think it was a right, actually. Yeah. Who gave me access to demons? <laughs> Who gave me your skeletons, bitch? <laughs> you know, most animals are zero CR, so you could summon like eight. No, they're badgers. demons, though. They're, they're demons, demon, though. Demon badgers. I would posit that we have a perfectly good gazer right here, but... No! That's a buddy! <laughs> you decided is, I did, is, like, uh, fuck three days ago! No, wait, is where are they? That's not! That is literally like, not different! It's a blood sacrifice. It's a difference. Ringer, I post, if you don't have one, I found a list of monsters by CR. Mm. Homunculus is a zero. <laughs> <laughs> I would a pony, I would. <laughs> fucking Brady Bunch, and Demon Pony, Got him. Uh, a Sturge. I Where don't know what that is. Where did you summon these, Adam? 
Are some of them right at the base of the statue? Yeah. Oh god, it's on my head. <laughs> you got a lot of them, so uh, why? Yeah. Why? Roll initiative. <laughs> I mean, I told them to watch this. I think they get right. No zeros, baby. It's wrong. <laughs> they clearly were warned that something was going to happen. So they were Time for a new. It's a new regime. New dice. And they're not going to fuck with Joel. I bet. Yes. I'm just going to yeah, jinx it right up. For yeah. If we're correct. I mean, hang on a second. Encouraging I think, Adam if I'm not to more active second. role in. I roll initiative for summon dice as a, uh, for the summon creatures as a group. What is the initiative of this creature, Bringer? Ooh. It's 13 right now. Yes. Oh, you rolled for them. Okay, I got you. I also got an 18 plus 2 high five. I'm going to get a drink, actually. Well, sort of initiative. Be right back. I rolled 20, Bringer, by the way. Not a 15. Thank you. Yeah. I rolled a 15. Okay. Like it's literally on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I trust Adam. It's, <laughs> it, it's, it's not a dull bean point, special where we just make it up as we go along. We don't actually point, own our own I dice. I really hope it's what a lot. I think is going to happen might happen. Because um, that would be a really beautiful thing if if that happened beautiful thing do you possibly think is going to come of this? It's I'm going to so... hit things and walk around and start good, like, well, use all of my movement. <laughs> your, uh, your initiative. Uh, mine was 14. Oh, yeah. Well, I just rolled a 70. Oh, I like this idea. I have two spell slots. It'd be hilarious if this got me killed, by the way. <laughs> I, just, I don't think that's funny. Uh, it'd be hilarious if it we would, all die. Yeah, it would be hilarious if this was a TPK from this it, move. move. It, well, from the... it, these guys well, I mean, the, 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 the dredgers are scrub monsters. I'm yeah. not convinced like that whatever will result from this. this. This literally is the most blood in the shittiest enemies. This is the best possible role. <laughs> Uh, Pipe Rifle, it's your turn, speaking of blood and <sighs> How is it Pipe Rifle's turn, not mine? I, well, because I hate you. <laughs> yeah, because you just did a thing. Let's call it, <laughs> you, you initiated All right, all right, all right. Uh, all I'm thanks saying for that, by the way. I get Pipe Rifle injured, but that's fine. Well, I you am going to do anything magical. <laughs> As I see all these fucking demons, I'm going to go into a magical raid. <laughs> This could be, could be interesting. I don't know. Not a regular rage, but a magical one. A magical rage of eight. Oh, the Ooh, biggest number. Right. Big <laughs> numbers are good. A beam. Oh fuck! It's the Iron Man beam. A beam of brilliant white light lances from your chest in a five foot wide, sixty foot line. Well, <laughs> creature in the line must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 2d8 radiant damage and be blinded <laughs> until the start of your next turn. Well, there's wow. there's Bob four of them. Well. Jesus Christ. Looks, so, it looks to me like you've got four of them in this line right here. Right? <laughs> Just, yeah. Wow, and cool. you pick, oh, no, you those pick crystals have been handle. They've been Turn harvested. in. I'm but, good standing. All right. Well, shit. So, uh, <laughs> They make a saving throw, I guess. I, I just... Uh, AC 14, I think, is more than normal. I don't know. Constitution saving throw, or take 2d8 radiant damage. Yeah, but what's the number? 8, eight plus your proficiency... Oh, for me? Constitution modifier, so 11 plus your con modifier. Which is a plus 3, so 14. It's using Unibeam! He uses Constitution. Oh. It's your spellcasting ability. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't say what happens if they save. For half, maybe? The one guy saves, and 
in, if they save, the it's like nothing happens. Is saved. Yeah, it says yeah, take, they save. Yeah, they are okay. Otherwise, they take two d eight radiant damage and are blinded. So roll for two d eight type. All right, that's nine. Could be better, but not bad for the. I mean, that's just what happens when I start the rage, which is my bonus action. And they're blinded until can... the start of your next turn. Yeah, Act against blinded creatures will have advantage. Mana, it is your shot. No, he Wait, still no. has moves. Yeah, that was his rage. Was, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, you, <laughs> you just triggered the... your thing. That's right. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, these things show up, and I go, "Ah, oh, shit!" And like, life. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Their life flashes the before team. their eyes. Yeah. Well, I was startled too. How do you think cool. I feel? Like actually, I'm... so I'm gonna take a swing at the one closest to me. Uh, did you? We determined which one the first one saved, or the first which one ones saved. are one. Okay, so this is not with advantage, but I will take a swing at him. Swing at him recklessly. Yeah, why the fuck not? The rest of them are going to be blinded. <laughs> Give me that <laughs> reckless shit. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, yeah. Six to hit. Don't worry about it. Twenty-two. Damn. Time to go a cleaving, but then can't be alive anymore. Ten more damage. <laughs> I'm also aiming my swings to try to chop uh, in a way that blood hits the statue. <laughs> I figured I figured that's what mana would want. <laughs> what a good choice. All right, mana is your turn. Gets okay. back. Yes, two. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, right. That's right. And I also didn't roll the two dice that I would get for Rex attack. Because I got a crit. Fish for a crit pipe. All right. I'm not another attack, him. didn't you? To be honest. That's, yeah, that's what he was shouting about this. And that, that attack should be an advantage like the first one should have been at. Woo! <sighs> that's not how that works. But uh, 16, then. That hits. Yeah. Thanks for all the reminders. <laughs> to, <laughs> to do the thing and do it the right way. So another eight to this front guy. The Damn blood you. will also hit the bird for sure. <laughs> that kills the front guy. Has to chop. Some viscera try to <laughs> scoop it up and fling it on the statue. Like or shoveling. Uh. Okay, Bringer, can I blow the horn as a bonus action? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> Jesus. So immediately <laughs> after a kill, you blow the horn. What a good initiative horn. That worked out great. <laughs> I, why am I so on board with this? <laughs> my character moves to the center of the beasts. A glorious bolt of thunder strikes where I was emanating outward 10 feet in every direction and strikes all of the creatures for 3d10 unless they constitution save throw and then they'll still take half from where you was wasn't that right next to mediator no no I've moved I've moved first <laughs> what is it that right you're uh, thunder step or whatever it's called so I'm walking, I'm running. So I'm, oh, okay. under human power, okay. I am moving here. <laughs> and Hell now I am thunderstorming away. away. That will explode. Okay. Back to Mediator. <laughs> but I have hit all of the remaining creatures here with 3d10. What's the radius okay. of that? 10, 10 feet. feet. Oh, thank God. That's all of them. He, um... <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, hey, uh... Woo, check this out. She walks over there. She goes, what? <laughs> you where, did you back. where did you run to, Adam? Uh, right on top of that crystal, back. right there. Um, okay, I think. And then you, you and then you right? thunder stepped out. And now I'm thunder stepping away. Yes. I think you can do that without provoking an opportunity attack because he didn't walk out of. Rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, thunder it's, step, thunder, right. the thunder step gets him out of there without any kind of opportunity. Yeah, it's a teleport. Yeah. Teleport doesn't have opportunity. 
I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure that his path didn't take him. Oh yeah, into and then out of the range of a dredge, which it did. Gotcha. No, no, he, so, he stepped into the range of them and then just fucked off. They so, all sort of turned to look, and then he just fucking really, smoke really bombs. Dang, that's a good roll. This took a short Ow. rest after you fought the uh, Sarlacc okay. thing, right? I have I actually hadn't used spells on that dude. We had a short rest while your skeleton was. Uh, Getting crystals. That was a half hour or so. Okay. A short Good rest point. is one hour. Short rest is one hour. But we had we had a short rest after before we went into the thing. We leisurely meandered around and searched huts, which I don't know how restful it is, but I don't uh, know. okay, so they get a constitution saving bringer. And if they make it, they only take nine, but they'll otherwise they take eighteen. Is there a short rest while the this while this happened? <laughs> Did more rest occur? Because I would have more spell slots if we we did it. We all took. We did it before yeah, we went out. to the mine. Brenner, was I part of that short rest? I mean, you weren't doing anything, sure. so I assume so. Uh, Jesus Christ, these guys are cheaters. I'm glad you reminded them of the saving throw. One more. I would argue that while the skeletons were mining, if, if we had a half hour rest, we would continue to rest until we knew we had charged up our spells. Or so they take half of that, Adam? So they take nine? Yeah, they take nine. If, if whoever saved takes nine. I know. And then when I, when I land guys back take. my mediator, I give the horn a massive blow, by the way. <laughs> uh, as you do that, the air, which was already blowing pretty quickly past you, begins swirling angrily. <laughs> well, Joey, it's your turn. Okay. We're just killing these demons, right? Just shitting them. I mean, yeah, get more blood out. They're okay. mostly well, dead. Are but... all of the blinded ones dead now? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to shoot yeah, you six line. seconds. I'm it's continuing to blow the whole thing because I have more than six seconds of breath to do. <laughs> First one, I'm going to shoot the first one, the one that's on the left. It's still alive. Out of it. Three. Jesus Christ. That hits. Yes. Dead or no? Tiny bit of life remains within him. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna shoot the other one, the one on the right. Two. That hits. That one only does four. It is also still alive. With an arrow in it. Luther. I think to myself, how do I bleed? Dismiss? How do I get dismissed? <laughs> anyway, I shoot a sacred flame at one of these stupid things. Uh, the one on the right, the one that's closest to me. Just think we may summon a giant shark and then you'll be happy. Or not sharks are stupid. beautiful, dude. I, I can't believe how stupid and useless sharks are. But anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this guy has to make a dex 14 save. Oh, I shoot fire. Wait, that's all right. That yeah. womp womp. I should have fucking whispered this to Bringer while he was deciding on me. Just think of how fucked we would be if they were flying one. There are tons of little flying de Not Cheater alert, I rolled two eights, 16 damage. <laughs> that kills that thing. Kapow. Go back to hiding under this bush. No, it's not like perfect. Just starting off hot. If Dole gets a Monkey nice man. tray, he's going to end up with All right. I have the wrong thing time. selected. I come here and hit this dude with my bow staff. I'm sure that's a surprise. <laughs> or quarter staff, I'm sorry. I mean. It's a good hit and stick. With my hit and stick. Uh, that is um, 18. Hits. 10 damage. Kills. Alright, and... There's one left. 
the dude up there. That is 26. Uh, believe it or not, that hits. <laughs> and that's 11 damage? Uh, that actually kills him, too. <laughs> Good work. Killed them all. Continue to blow up all your demons. <laughs> I uh, step I away know. from the from this. I, I think so. I, I think that, I think that demons that are slain on the material plane reform back in hell as themselves. They just reform on <laughs> back in hell with a really fucking weird story. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Scene where they're just like it's, oh, it's, it's actually the same demons over and over. That yeah, I think we already we already set that narrative that the ones that appeared on the beach were the ones that we fought <laughs> earlier. And so two of these are still the same ones that keep getting summoned. Yes. And they go back to their wives and like, no, Rhonda, Rhonda, Steve was with me this time. Steve, tell it. Steve, tell it. And I, I guess I guess, I guess, I guess. it's better than Adam playing a druid and like conjuring harmless animals or like <laughs> I I am both sprite. provoking the god but also disrespecting the god by only feeding him <laughs> demon blood. And then goes back to sleep. Yeah. We've <laughs> like taken a like, fable demon door. We've taken Adam. like dramatically different approaches to uh -huh. dealing with evil god artifacts. Adam, you find yourself suddenly shotgun surrounded shotgun. by mist. You're no longer clear and sure of where you are. You're no longer able to see your teammates who are right next to you. You are surrounded by mists, dark, dark mists. The the stench of salt is strong in the air. I but did. as you take a deeper breath, it's replaced with the stench of death. Ah, oh, shit. You look forward in the mists part, a giant glowing skull, similar to the one that you carry, <laughs> but different. It appears in front of you. It has tentacles. I I cling tightly to my skull. I hold it. I hold it close to my. Hold it close to my heart. My skull. What my skull I, is with me. What do is I it? perceive of Adam while this is happening to him? Adam is staring straight forward at the demise of the demons, holding the conch shell in one hand and this golden skull in the other, with a slightly slack look on his face. Going to move away from Adam and interpose <laughs> skeletons between us. Here, get in this bush. Wow, that's real helpful, buddy. Everyone, get in this bush. I I will remind you also. I don't know that it matters. I have the devil's sight. Magical darkness does not affect me, but I imagine I'm having a vision quest. You're having a peyote nightmare. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't think you can actually remind them of that, Adam, from inside the. Um, <laughs> The personal fog that you're within. Um, no, I have the devil's sight. I have the devil's sight. So well, Lizard, what color you're, is you're our You're definitely color? seeing some shit they're not. So, <laughs> well, Lizard, what color is our psycho? Who, me? I'm going to sneak over here, I guess. I was chilling on the other side. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, as, as the skull seems to challenge me. I take the hand that is holding the skull in my hand. I remove a dagger from my belt, and then I coat my skull with blood, as if to like show my skull my love with my very soul, as, as it stands with me against the other skull. Whose blood? My blood is my blood <laughs> on my hand is coating the golden skull. In my in the crook of my arm now. Is he doing do this that. in real life? By the way, before we, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's, he's, all he's these actions. Sliced him, he's definitely okay, so. sliced himself open in real life now. We're watching um, him in a weird fugue state, just like okay, great. Yeah, basically <laughs> everything Adam is doing, you guys are witnessing in real life. You're not as, seeing, since, as he dropped the conch shell, I go pick it up. Present and just put it in my pocket and then come back standing by mediator cuz this is just normal shit for me so it's just like eh, all right can't, can't let it get dirty 
It seems like he Adam. did some fucked up shit with demons in the shell, and now he's possessed. Uh, do we cut his head off? <laughs> yes. Asking for a friend. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. I'd like. I would like to see where this goes. I am on guard, though. Yeah, like, not, not ready in action, but you know, I'm keeping my. Eye. I, I'm just sitting on the ground, cross-legged, just kind of hanging out. I'm fine. Right Everything's action. fine. It's normal. Adam, as you slice your hand open and coat the held skull um, with blood, it begins to grow in your hands. Um, this is. <laughs> This is imperceptible to the people that are watching you. But inside your hands, the skull grows. Badass. And it begins to float in front of you. I was here and didn't have to watch this shit happen on YouTube after the fact. (laughs) (laughs) It is is now about twice the size that, that it began and hovering in front of you. It brings itself up to about face level and then pulls back and seems to merge within your own face. Yes, I raise, no. I raise my hands to embrace it. You're hugging your own face. I mean, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm hugging the skull as it comes onto my face, yes. I'm imagining no, I'm no phrasing. Phrasing. <laughs> Are we really not doing phrasing? <laughs> no more able Jim to carries the mask. <laughs> Right. No more able to it, off. but at least I expressed disapproval contemporaneously. <laughs> well, I, I thought that that this part is not actually happening. I, he's I still so those of you that are watching, those of you that are watching this happen on the island, I'm not going to say in real life, but those of you that are watching this on the island um, have witnessed now. Adam slice his hand open um, and basically coat the skull in front of him with blood. He drops the conch shell to the ground and stares straight forward at this now blood-covered golden skull. Is he making out with the skull? In your vision, he lifts the skull up in front of him. It is face out, facing the same direction as he is. And the winds begin lashing like crazy. There's a a froth on the sea. And the, the rain is now being blown almost horizontal. And you're all, you're, you're somewhat distracted. You lose track of of what exactly what Adam is doing as he brings this skull up to face level. You hear a sharp cackling sound on the wind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what crows sound like. Uh, <laughs> um, car, car, bang, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> you, uh, and, and Adam is now standing in front of you, no longer holding the golden skull. His face, her face, is hidden from you behind a golden mask. Well, that's Uh, probably the most cursed bullshit I've ever seen. Pretty cool. I have been saying all along that this skull was the most obviously cursed artifact in the entire campaign. I I walk up to Mana with the mask and hand the conch shell back to her. Just like nothing's going on. Like nothing special has happened. This is fine. Here you go. I walk up and rap on it with a knuckle. Tink, tink. Hey, pretty cool. I, I feel as though we've long since passed the point uh, at which an intervention would have been helpful. Yeah, that's probably I, why I'm I so on board. That train has left the fucking station. I implore it's all the just a new show. To grant point. us the power to destroy our enemies. Well, sure. <laughs> the the storm has not subsided um, yeah. since Adam. Anyone else notice it's getting more storm. cursed around here? Uh, in fact, if anything, the the wind is now lashing harder. There's actually small small pellets of hail are appearing within the uh, the storm itself and pelting you. I uh, I oh. say for the third time, let's go already. <laughs> And start Where heading back up to the thing. I... We're too, Sarge. <laughs> I don't want to get slapped again. 
mean, the obviously cursed Nexus is coming with us, so I'm not sure how much good going anywhere else will do. I mean, I think I'm pretty immobilized at the moment. But... We just go inside. Look, maybe oh, I yeah, just want to get out know. of the storm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can leave the cursed Nexus over there. And... I'll stay with Mana. Um, <laughs> your, why, could, your why wouldn't he move? Your feet have felt very heavy. You're not quite sure what is going on. Your your view through as as you come out of this, uh, you 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 begin start you begin seeing the real world again as lightning crashes around you, and the fog mm-hmm. and this larger <laughs> tentacled skull in front of you begin to recede, following the, the interaction between you and your bloodied golden skull. Um, the tentacled skull is laughing quietly um, and pulling back and fading away as the fog disappears and is replaced with this pounding, relentless hail and storm uh, around you. I I I, I hold my arms out, kind of like kind of like R. Kelly me. I believe I can fly. Video like <laughs> wind billowing the distance. And I walk towards the, the party, it. like just following them into the shade, but like clearly like showing the hail that I do not give a fuck. But but I proceed with the party towards the mine. You haven't seen shade yet. But I am spiting the nat- I am spiting nature by walking. <laughs> your 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 view into the world right now is a little bit more limited than you're used to. Um, the the golden skull has sort of pulled onto your face and is giving you a bit of a, a smaller, slittier perception of the world. So sick. Ooh. He's there. Crap. This is this is the way Silly. I was meant to be. Any it any communication silly. you have with your teammates that involves actual verbal communication is a little bit muffled. Um as you are able to speak, but it is sort of passing through this but I, small I also golden still mouth in front of you, right? Oh, you still have telepathy, absolutely. Okay. Um, I, I just, telepathically to tell my team, we made the right decision. Everything is going to be okay. <laughs> I don't know who that <laughs> we <laughs> means anymore. So, which is sort of worse. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. From where I, I am know. across right. the bridge in front of everyone else, I turn back towards Adam and give a thumbs up. <laughs> I don't. I don't agree with any of the things. Uh, I think all of those things are wrong. This is very strange payday two DLC. <laughs> okay, as we're walking, I remember the tooth and uh look into my bag and see if anything weird is happening. But... That's the tooth. God damn it. You definitely have a tooth in your bag. Um <laughs> Good point. It, it is it is fairly large. Um it's about from from root to tip. About the size of a uh, a hand, You're the size of your palm of your hand. You could sacrifice like a, someone like with a that. Bic lighter. Oh, uh, let's let's say it's probably about twice the size. Uh, about a big big and a half. Okay. <laughs> How and much? It started <laughs> as like a, a humanoid. Could tooth? I slash or, a throat with it? No, nobody said nothing about humanoid pipe rifle. I assume, like, okay, I assume, well, I assume it's like a shark tooth. Right. Is about how a, long is or about how much in, in size has it grown percentage wise? Uh it began right. as a big lighter. Now it's a big and a half. Okay. Hey guys, this thing's noticeably bigger. Is that weird? <laughs> yes, yeah, like big and a half. I mean, you want to let me see it, pipe rifle? <laughs> no, it's my magic too. <laughs> Look, I don't get to keep anything, and it's a body part, which I probably would have kept anyway. So <laughs> very oh. covetous of. I hope we don't all dream of teeth tonight. That would be a bad sign. <laughs> teeth, I think. teeth, as, teeth. As we teeth, pass the teeth, monster, teeth. it is just a, a ball of teeth. Ooh, get some of these teeth. <laughs> Look at all them teeth. What is it? Teeth. Teeth. Point out that both me and Adam have necklaces made of teeth. This this toothy tentacle thing, what is it? I chopped the fuck out of it. Oh, summoned. Hey, definitely had a fireball and up its asshole and died. I'm, I'm definitely taking I'm, some of the teeth. talking. I want, I want to know what this thing is. Is it anything Don't I recognize? Worry, uh, you recognize it as a minor abomination. Um, 
It's wow, even kind in death. Of thing that can be summoned on um, alternate planes. Um, although it is, you recognize part of, um, or it fits the role of a lot of folklore tales of sea monsters. You do recognize it, though, as something that is summoned from another plane. It's an it's a interplanar aberration of some kind. Yes. I mean, no, we really. I, I, I guess. I guess that's what it looks like. But. Reckon. It's it's not it's not a being of enough power or significance that you would recognize it as an individual. It's just the type of thing that you've heard of before, um, and that you're aware of. Sometimes. Uh, can cause friction between um, beings or communities of this world and other worlds when it gets summoned too close to them. It was racist against elves, so fuck him. Oh. He's a chop a glove its bottle. It endangers the community. Bob Dole did definitely blow out his bottle. We're trying to protect the material plane. Damn it. Are we, Trump has turned into a weird uh, droopy dog if he were a ghost. Well, I guess everything I guess everything turned out fine out here, so we can <laughs> salty. We can we can proceed to the mine as though nothing happened. So to be clear, point of order. We we if definitely did need to get out of the storm right now. All right. Adam have a skull for a face. Do I have a skull for a face or am I holding the skull again? You have a skull for a face. Yes. Golden skull, right? Yeah. Uh speaking of Skyrim. Well Joe's other character is gonna be so confused. So dark in here. Or is it? Paladin's showing back up. Skeleton. Again I, in the I, chat, I'm remembering uh I forget what they were from. But that when you said slits, I was thinking of these, I would uh, also Skyrim like mask, Tullius's armor, and the Nacrin mask from Skyrim. Nacrin, really? Also, like to enter the mine. <laughs> You're here. You're there now. I I gently stroke my face as if I shaved my beard. <laughs> Skeletons come with us. Again, my owl. <laughs> Oh, it seems like just having when he uh, came through the first mask video. always on seems like a bad idea. We would definitely prank like, mediator and let him like go through the, the, the magic that? mouth door that casts. Seems like it get hot and uncomfortable. Well, it's already all, open. We already all the good guys in comic books wear metal masks on their face. What's a comic book? What's a face? But yeah. your, your weird flat snouts that you guys are always going on and on about. Oh shit, the squad's here. <laughs> oh shit. It's the boys. They're back uh, in town. As you guys enter this underground lair, um, you notice that there is a mine cart track running past you uh, and a small pile of spoil near the entrance. A pile of what? Um, spoil uh, from the mine cart. Um, there are mine carts around? Yep. On this track, uh, there's a little mine cart that runs back and forth. Um, it, 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 it's a the, Donkey Kong level. A lot of the cavern appears to be natural, but you do see um, chisel marks and hammer marks where the area has been cleared out or flattened to make the... Are there any <coughs> diamond blocks to harvest? The real bramble scramble. <laughs> No, there is some redstone now, so build a computer. Redstone! Fuck redstone. How many how many people could fit in the minecart? And like, is Pets Detect Magic still running? I can cast it now. Two and down. As soon as we get down, it's like, hey, it's a little dark in here. And I try to flex some magic light out of how, how dark is it in here? It's very dark. Train I, devil sight. I have perfect sight down okay. here. So I do, do, I do the detect go. magic to see can if I start a, glowing. Can we get a light spell going? I cast light. No, check my shit first. <laughs> check my shit. Now Pipe is I'm, just going to glow with the light 
cantrip. And I'm, that's it. I'm looking down and trying to see if I glow. I don't know. Figure it out. The glowing cobalt, my friend. Cobalt. I don't know. Oh, the conjuration. Right, yeah. because Dole just oh. conjured light. You're going to glow cobalt. Oh. <laughs> That's why I what said. Did you, what did you cast? What did you cast light on? Like a rock or something? Yeah, the rock he's holding in his hand. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yippee, the rock. I cast down the minecart. The rock. Damn it. I I use press and digitation to make the mask on my face glow so that everyone can still see me in the dark, even in dim light. Oh my god! We're so many of us have fucking actual. dark vision. I'm so I annoyed. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm have a dark vision. I, I, want, I want the light. I, I'm happy with Dole's light spell. No um, what's the radius of the light like spell? 20 feet. I move... T- <laughs> God damn it. I'm moving down here outside of the 20 feet range. God damn fucking light spell. Yeah, <laughs> what do I see? Scout it out, out, you freak. Yeah. Now I'm glowing yeah. blue and orange. Go Broncos. So in, in general, out. Bringer, I'm trying to stay... <laughs> Just outside of the light. Yeah, it's it's very dark down here. Even with the light, the the air is not clean. Um, there is a, a nasty uh, sulfuric tint, um, both in color, orange yellow in the air, as well as the smell itself. Um, Every day we grow further from God's light. All right, I I just keep moving down. Fucking rich you know, coming from you. You know what I like about this place? <laughs> I, I, move with, I, I move with Will, because I don't need so light. many places. I'm going to hang out with Dole and uh, his Co-Broncos. Uh, his, his rock torch. I stay off of the minecart when I go away, but I don't get cl- clowned by a cart when it goes um, I, uh, I, I stealthily look cart. around this corner. I'm like, well, never mind, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast past that a trace on everybody. Jesus Christ. Yeah. We still have to so say we're doing stealthy stuff, though. We can't just bumble around. Yeah, I just remember when we had the first time in Piper at home, just busted into a room and said, hello! Yep. <laughs> uh, I, I look around this corner. Piper Hole's definitely um, doing again. You definitely look around that corner, and you see the minecart does not go that way. Uh, the air is quite thick. There is some smoke. Uh, you hear the chatter of voices and see a small fire with a number of cobalt scattered. I found the cobalt. Oh, shit. Hey, it's those cobalt. Bob Dole likes cobalt, right? Why it's does it say cobalt. go Broncos? God damn it. <laughs> because I was glowing blue and orange because okay. of the magic that my team has. Broncos. Broncos. <laughs> I telepathically tell. And then I said go Broncos. Go with I telepathically tell Luther that there's some cool buddies up here. Yeah, I love cobalt. I definitely, I love healing them after. I uh, wait, wait. Before that, before that, <laughs> I'm going to use my medallion of thoughts on them to detect what they're thinking. Oh, hey, you remembered good, you had it. Good pull. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so surprised, but we are. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised, frankly, so. Because it's something they are, that's not the skull. And she gets jealous. <laughs> they are thinking pretty much in drudgery. Um, they have, from what you can tell, a quota of crystals to mine. And if they don't get it done, they will be beaten or worse. And they are pretty much just resigned to their fate. They're taking a, a break now to recuperate, but. Um, oh, they almost wish that they. One of them is thinking that he almost wishes he could go back to being tied up in his bunk on the sea and, and waiting for whatever that was. Go tell him, hi, I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to save you. The, I, uh, kill, I kill the. I kill the light spell as I approach. I turn back to the day. Uh, are, are we liberators or exterminate? We're liberators. Are you Liber- about the they're, cobalt clearly, they're clearly being held against their will. Cobalts have right, always been our friend. We haven't actually fought one. <laughs> Your who's holding them, and what are they? Well, I mean, if they're mining they're crystals, awesome. I assume this is the mine for the crystals we've been seeing. Also yeah. possibility. Let's blow this shit up. Let's Anybody got spare weapons? weapons? Their own drug fucking company. After we rescue them. Let's let's rescue them. Give them a bunch of weapons, so then they all die because we're idiots. And 
Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the green guy that's not a kobold uh, farther south? I think he's camp. a kobold in, in armor. Yeah, it's a hat. He's got doom guy armor from what I can tell. I only know that because of the folder it came out of. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a well so it's a plan. plan. Uh, well, one of us who isn't a bird who can barely speak should probably I go think, and talk I think to Bob, him. Bob Dole has good luck with the kobold, because I think we should talk. I peek around this corner and just like awkwardly, awkwardly wave and step in. I'm gonna let my I, magic light fade out and that's by the, the way, last I one to my long. foot up to make my golden skull less conspicuous. <laughs> yeah, my my wand not lead with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, our, our charisma so caster so now has a giant fucking skull on his face. I'm gonna back him up as a uh, fellow lizard being. Think about it. I could be like the ultimate evangelist. You two can have a golden skull. Listen to five easy steps. <laughs> Calm down, MF Doom. Adam, we are not going to make a good first impression. <laughs> can we hey, approach back upon Steve? Skeletons can wait around the corner. Can, I was, can we like sneak up and, and give them like hushing motion? Hey, hey, it's cool, it's cool. Just uh, tiptoe on man. Roll, roll for hushing, Pipe Rifle. What? <laughs> Here it is, 2d6, 2d20 plus 6, and it's still fucking garbage. <laughs> My hush roll is so great, I hush with advantage and everything. Uh, you got fast without a trace on. You're proficient in hushing. I mean, are you actually asking for a stealth roll? I was, or in like a persuasion? He, he's trying to tell them to be quiet. Yeah, I am trying to gesture in a way that says, hey, hey, it's cool, it's cool. I could just A sort out. of hands out, you know, hush. You don't do a particularly good job of it. But because of my 2D20. What you're... <laughs> we'll take it. Because it's whatever was in the role. I probably will stop reading. They, they do understand that you are are, are not supposed to be here. Um, they speak comment. We're off. That was Mr. Connick. That's what I was going to hiss and both of those in, in a row. Like, is it common? Draconic? Eh? <laughs> what do you what do you guys speak? Anything? I'm like a talky guy. Come on. <laughs> Definitely speak draconic, but I don't know if they would I don't know if they would speak common. Okay. Well I, I speak draconic. They do respond in draconic. Okay. Oh, I know you speak draconic, Pipe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are your captors? Oh, deeper down the tunnel. Nothing between you and the door. Why don't you? Why don't you leave? <laughs> there were a bunch Sorry. of people there. Were Sixty people outside. We killed. Well, that's... we killed a squid guy. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so and the door was both... locked. Yeah. <laughs> there was a fear spell protecting the door. Yeah. The door is open. Upstairs, everyone's dead. Couple of boats. Kind of a storm going on. Might have summoned something. Leave if you want to, or we're going to go kill some guy. They shrink back away from the horror you're speaking. <laughs> and of course, the rest of the team is just hearing flurry of some you know draconic i don't know what i would assume why couldn't it have been orcs a horrifying hissing language i could talk to orcs and uh, yeah. all they know is whatever i said made them all recoil apparently. Okay. <laughs> okay no it's it's cool uh we are not gonna kill you we're just gonna kill all the you know bad your captors guys. the dudes yeah gonna, yeah you know, <laughs> you're you're free if you want, or I guess you can stay here. Got Just a fire going. Okay. It's it's fire and a revolution. The kobolds to join us. We're gonna kill all of your captors. You're yeah. free to go if you want to. There's boats outside. Everything's dead. Yeah, he speak draconic because he sounds like he's speaking really, really articulately, but just not draconically. I don't know. I speak I, draconic, so I shove my. I said all of that stuff over. <laughs> That's Red what line. made them recoil. I said the same thing Red. in a different order. <laughs> While this is going on, I just kind of look at Adam. And then I look at the ground and shake my head. 
Like, okay, if well, you shit for summoning demons. At least I got shit done. <laughs> All right, I turn back to everybody, and I'm kind of addressing everybody. Like, hey, why don't we? Uh, their their captors are deeper in the mine. I don't think they're going to come with us or leave. Uh, maybe when we show them that they're dead, you want to haul some corpses up here? Probably not. <laughs> I I take the necklace of shark's teeth, and I hold it, and I hold it high. As if, and and I hold a dagger in my other hand, and then I point down the the uh, the tunnel towards where the captives are, and then I like make a motion with the knife as if to like incite them to go murder the captive captive uh, captive. <laughs> the people and they I'm, see I'm, none of this because you're standing behind a fucking wall. <laughs> I, okay, I mean, by that I mean <laughs> are, are, these, are, are, the are these kobolds yeah. armed? Like, are they look armed for sprites? They, but... They've got they've got a couple of. Um... Tools mining. And mining, yeah. mining tools. Your classic five. Indiana Jones. One of them's named yeah. Steve. Children. They've got the tools that they use to fucking work. Bringer, I, I want to ask the kobolds in Draconic how many captive kobolds are here. Do you speak Draconic? They say, no. Okay. He's a Maybe science boy. less than there used to be. Well, that doesn't. They, they really say help. that they, they say that there used to be scores of them, and now there are maybe beyond this group here. There, there may be another five or six um, that the that the cobalts have been used for mining, but the mining has really dried up, and since the mining has stopped, the the cobalts have been getting used for sacrifices. Ask bread. them how long they've been here. Long, how long have they been here? You don't actually. <laughs> they don't know. The computer. Um, I tell them that we're hunting their captors, the ones that are forcing them in, them to mine here, and I ask how many of their captors are in the mine right now. They say that there are too many of their captors in the mine. They've not been able to escape or fight back. And in the, Very unspecific. I hold the shark necklace again. I am. Hey. So, ask it's if they helping. can. <laughs> want to ask if they can tell us anything about. I assume you don't. Speak. Anything about their their captors that might. Uh, we're planning on going deeper into the mine, to, because we're hunting the captors. And to ask if they can tell us anything that might be useful. Uh, they say that you should be aware of the walls. Oh, shit. And right. hey, do we have anybody who glows when a bunch of fucking trapped bullshit is around? I have to say traps. Why okay, should I know? Uh, I don't know that I would glow. I mean, so, so why, why do we need to watch the walls? What's wrong with the walls? Uh, that the captors are the least of the threats in the mine. What and other I threats are in the mine? Of your vagueness. <laughs> they, okay. they begin chattering back and forth very quickly and quietly in their own language. And they're not quite able to make out what they're saying. No one of them says, the The walls the attack. Not that I heard it as yeah. a character because I don't understand anything that's being said right now. But what did they say, Bringer? The walls attack. Attack. The walls protect. The walls attack. Yeah. They attack. It's like, I'm imagining the it's guards like... from Legends of the Hidden Temple, like they sort of come popping out. Um, they say that they've been here for for a very long time, and that. Um, only the most productive of kobolds are spared the, the cycle of mine and sacrifice. Um, and that unless they are able to produce crystals or um, choose amongst them who will be sacrificed, uh, the captors themselves will make that choice for them. So it's been a very uh, savage world where... <clears throat> This group of kobolds has basically had to choose other kobolds to be executed in their place. 
I, I tell them <laughs> that sounds awful, but we're here to help. We're going to go deeper into the mine in search of the captors. They should stay here and wait for us. They nod and go back to doing their thing around the fire. They don't they don't seem to be particularly enthusiastic about the chances. Well, they're they seem so, safe. I don't suppose we can get a couple to come with us as a guide. Oh, they definitely are not interested in that. They don't think you are going to survive the night. Mm. Well, I mean, thanks for all the I, good omens. Of course, <laughs> I mean, look, we've already, I've already ruined their day enough. Let's go. These are orcs. I could have gotten them to come with us. As the group comes back, I just look at them and go, "What happened?" Um, <laughs> it's fine. Just say a bunch of shit to them in Draconic, and then. We're gonna get kill some stuff. It's fine. Don't what was that about, about walls? It. Wait, <laughs> stay away from the walls. So, 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 uh, so, so, Bean, they said that the walls. You don't have to go through it all. Let's just assume that you told yeah. me. I'm just. I, I, yeah. I, I, since I have telepathy, I speak to one of them telepathically, and I say toot toot, and I like shake the conch at him <laughs> as, as we walk away. Just to fuck with them. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, I, can you make a saving throw for an alarm shift? Like, I think we should. Yeah, you're the... just becoming evil. Like, but it starts I with you becoming a real dick. Yeah. The, the first symptom is being a real dick. <laughs> I, think, um, I think it would probably be a good idea to um, have someone with high perception. Go in front. Glowjob can detect traps. I think Glowjob have the dark vision yeah, trap finder and good old trap. Do you have enough trap? Do you have enough spell slots for that? I don't know. Spells Probably you get. Not. I have five. Leave us you, in the trap house. So traps you, is a second level spell. You, you don't have any second level slots have you been, available. I only have one. Womp, womp. So what's your perception bonus? Five. My passive is sixteen. Okay. I think I actually have the highest perception of the group. Passive really? fifteen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's but I got no broncos. Yeah, I have, I have, you know, I, do you want to cast detect magic here or do you want to give me ten minutes so I can do it? I'm actually out until a long rest. In, if we can take 10 minutes so I can have a detect magic active as we head deeper into the mine, I think it might be a good idea. If they're, if the walls are magically trapped, it might be nice to know that. The kobolds are glaring at you as you kind of just mill around, like, 30 feet away from them. I, uh, do, do they here. seem to be annoyed? They're not annoyed, but they're just not enthused about your presence. <laughs> I shadow step behind this one, say hello, and then shadow step back away. <laughs> You're all psychos. <laughs> the tech magic will cast 10, will take 10 minutes to cast, um, but I want to have that on as we go deeper into the mine. Two spell slots to, to do detect or find traps. I don't know. It does it only work like you have to use a second level slot, and I think you used an ensnaring strike and a hunt and a hunter's mark at least while we were. Yeah, we haven't taken a long rest for a island. while. That's true. I guess you. I guess you would have used. I guess you could have used. I don't, I don't know. You guys aren't keeping track of your spell slots or concentration, so I don't know how many spells you have. Well, I looked a second ago and he didn't have any slots. Now he does. I know. He's out over their fire. And but he was longer. casting and staring strikes and Hunter's Marks. And yeah. Hunter's Mark is his... a first and a second. You can cast it at first or second level. You should cast it at first because it doesn't do anything second. extra if you cast it at second, but you have a better spell slot. So I have one spell slot in second and three in first. Then. 
Yeah, just keep track of it as we, as we go in. Yeah, I'll keep track Bringer, of it. Is, is Detect Magic active? Can we go? Uh, yep. I say stick All to right. the track. I assume I'm still running in front because of my I passive. Think you should, I think you should still go in front. Right. Um, See, fine. I have pretty high perception considering I also have a lot of meat. Can sense, yeah. So, Bringer, I can sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of me. Uh, you are getting some weird vibes off of mana. And... I mean... <laughs> it's like Man, a grand 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 goes back to weird. Like, yeah. can no, love bloom on a battlefield. Um, all right, I'm gonna go okay. this we, way we and look around the this corner. Oh, whoops! Where's the gazer at? Come back, gazer. Boy, those tracks oh, are not gonna do very well. <laughs> <laughs> now that I look at, uh, I'm amazed they get anything out of this mine. Um, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue this way. I'm gonna tell it this way instead of going. Like, air is very thick west. here, um, but you well, do see a number of the... crystals that have been half chiseled Crystal. out or mostly chiseled out in this area. It looks Crystal like it's an area of recent excavation from the cobalts. Okay, um, so it looks crossroads. So it looks like just this. West? So from where I am, I can tell that the area just goes back up. Yes. Okay. I am going to go back this way then. Corners. Everybody loves corners. It's really important to remember, guys, that if I'm in front, I can oh, just walls. shadow step the fuck Stay away. away the <laughs> like, I can just shadow step the fuck away, so don't hang too close to where I am. I was trying to sneak and I, like, got too close to a yeah. wall. So anyway, I, moving I forward. Sprite As you're moving forward, you're hearing uh, the, the air is even thicker, it's warm. You're hearing the smashing sound of mining happening. Word? I like that smashing sound. Like there's mining okay. after. Um, Can I see anything down here? Or is it just the air is thick enough where I can't now? Uh, you are able to make out a little bit, um, but it is very dense as you're moving. I uh, I ask I ask Adam up, how he can yeah. see. I don't know how his sight will be affected yeah. by this stuff. It, does my devil sight affect in any way? I can see through anything. Any magical darkness doesn't affect me. It it is not a magical darkness. It is just very very, it's very shit in the air, huh? Smoky, thick air. Um, I, I don't think have... I have anything I can deal with that. I think I'm devil sight doesn't look through. Smoke. It, it sees through darkness and magical darkness, but it doesn't see yeah. through other forms of obscurement like fog. Or so, matter. so yeah. what is my vision like range? So go up with uh, Dan. Right now it's about fifteen feet with what you can see. Oh shit! Uh, you'll see a little bit further than that. Um, down there. Like, you, what's you, you can on? you can hear that the sound is coming from the the south of past where the rail uh, terminates to the south. Um, okay, I keep moving that direction, but I'm moving very slowly because of the the block. You should vision. go up. You should go up with Bean because your perce your perception is probably second best of anyone here. Are we getting lower? I, getting so so, so as we hit this you are thing, definitely going lower down. Yes, my people. As we hit this and the sounds coming from below, can I do a perception roll to see if I can tell anything more than what my passive is giving? Yeah, sure. All right. So uh, that roll is worse than my passive perception. That was an eight. So, do you like me to also take a look? Sure. Wait. I can do a thing. I just remembered that I can recharge spell slots by hurting myself. <laughs> if Blojo wants the detect traps, or if we all agree that's the best move, then I will. I can do that. It's called magic reserves, and it's one of the things I got. Gave me Trap is a garbage fucking spell, by the way. It's not It's not worth his spell slot. Yeah. Uh, okay. It reveals that a trap is present. It doesn't tell you the location of the oh, trap or even yeah. how many there are, or how many there are. It's a bad spell. All right. I'm going to okay, continue well, blindly moving south. Does anybody need a spell slot before we have our, our next encounter? Me. Is there Could something incredibly helpful? Me. Fireball? What level? Me. Okay, I'm also I'm pretty good. 
I'm pretty good yeah. on spell slots, but I think Dole and Adam are both uh are yeah. both dry. Well, I mean Okay, let me look at, let me read this <laughs> aloud here. At Admiral six level, for... you can channel no, the magic I, I surging inside you into other time. creatures. I, I work well without spell slots. I'm fine. Touch a creature, roll a D4. The creature recovers an expended spell slot of a level equal to the number rolled. You can get up to level four. Uh, oh, actually, tell me this. Uh, I think this is not an up to. The creature recovers an expended spell slot of a level equal to the number rolled. If the creature oh. you touch can't recover a spell slot of that level, the creature instead gains temporary hit points equal to five times the number roll. Jesus Christ. So, so if, 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 yeah. And if you, I take force four. damage equal to five times the number <laughs> roll. Oh. Hmm. This is a bad, you, you, this you is take, a bad take, thing. Don't do this thing that you're you doing. Take, bad idea, dude. Yeah, right, don't do that. Not, I mean, it's literally a dice roll at that point. Like, you also, you also take that amount of damage regardless of, like, you, so you, maybe you I hold on to that until we have yeah. up to fourth level spells. Yeah, I mean, so 20 I temporary hit points for Duel wouldn't be a bad thing, but you might actually need them. Yeah, all right. No, well, come on, Mediator. You have to admit, summoning the demons and then nuking them with a lightning is worth burning all my all my spells. <laughs> that was a, that was a pro move. It came of that, though. That's some baller. Yeah, you have a golden skull on your face now. I don't, I don't see awful. here. Yeah, that's very good. What is the problem? A baller bayonet. How, how does that help all us? Fires? It's face armor. <laughs> but but yeah. how does that help? Uh, uh, hey, while while the party is two percent more armored than it was before. While the idiots Fire. are um, doing what they they do, I continue moving south. And now All I dilly dallying, and it keeps us alive. Thank you very much. The the noise is definitely growing as you move south. There appears to be a small choke point in the rocks. Um, or... where the noise is echoing past through. This is where we creep up to is a ledge the... and see the fucking Kali Mog. <laughs> is the um uh air still pretty the same it was? Uh it seems like the bad air is actually blowing through this gap in front of you from this area to the south and deeper in. Um the the good air is definitely behind you as you move deeper. Okay, um... So send your gazer up to look, uh, Adam. Yeah, before I go do anything, um, and before the gazer even comes through, can I look at these walls between this gap? <laughs> like, they really look at them? Be, yeah, they appear to have been hacked out via, um, tools, uh, connecting to natural cave formations. Then I must leave somewhere. I don't see anything strange about the walls here, though, right? I mean, they got hacked over yeah, by hacked tools. <laughs> I mean, Can that's we not strange. We're in a mine. Well, we're in here, but <laughs> that's normal. It's it's pretty normal, but it is indicative uh, that this wasn't an area that had been previously open. Right. No, my my concern is more the whole, you know, the walls attack is where I'm going. There don't appear to be any attacking walls in front of you. Okay. Or behind you. And what what do you see through your horrible gazer eyes? <laughs> I've got gazer eyes, and I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I like to think that the slits on the golden skull mask just go white like detective vision for Batman <laughs> during this. <laughs> oh, shit. Probably have your gazer actually sneak while he's doing this. Sneak, sneak. Why is the dog being so crabby? Roll initiative. What is it, boy? Don't. Is it coronavirus? But he has the ninja face on. He's sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> sort of floats like a little, little monster. Let's see. What is what is my issue? Oh, no. Uh, I would. Yeah. I would also. We could always um, try talking to these guys before we got I'm, I'm going to appeal that decision with a, and use one of my lock points. <laughs> what? I rolled a nat 20. We're, we're just going to leave that. But 
8 is the initiative that's sticking. Not a single zero today, thanks to Pipe Rifle's dice. Good work, Pipe. Very cheaterific. I don't, I don't know if Joel uh, shared a picture of them, but they're the purple swirly ones that I saw. I'm like, well, those are going to Joel. Yeah, purple ones. Uh, Great you for your initiative, Pipe. Oh, what's that? Sorry, I was uh, talking to Eric. Sure. Food initiative. Yes. I'm way back here. Oh. Nice. That's the second time I did that, actually. Second Two edition. Chance to talk to the two. orcs, Bob. Go. I like shit. Talk to the orcs. I talk to the orcs, but I'm probably not good at it. Or For once, orcs. Lexi done talk. It's probably uh, cold orcs. Stupid ass orcs. You're really trying to psychically project how you hate everything. Trying to get Lexi everybody mad at you. Used to be so positive. But... Hey, I just some shit. More like every time I talk to people, they don't seem to get what I'm going for. <laughs> You're not picking up what I'm putting down, Cobalt. a lot of dudes. Fine. I disagree. What I like is how we we're completely unprepared. I mean, we the never barbarians wasted... back, which is too bad, but I mean, because I was talking about ramen, I was actually going to move my guy. I had my headset on for a second. I was being careful because my stupid jangly armor. I mean, I would I argue that they don't know we're here while we're rolling initiative, but it's fine. Well, I mean, it's yeah, the case case one of them sees an eyeball rolling up to you. Yeah, but they don't know we're here. All they know is the eyeball. We could just, you know, sacrifice the eye eyeball the and turn eyeball around and leave. <laughs> just turn and around and I leave. I feel like they'd be like, fuck these really guys. Accurate. So we, we do it like a prank where we just, like, let the eyeball keep flying back to us. <laughs> 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 it's like a cartoon. If he used the dash, had him use the dash action, he could get another sixty feet into the thing. <laughs> Classic murder prank. <laughs> I do like saying fling the gauger at the back wall so they all turn their backs to us and run after it, and then we <laughs> just come pouring through the gap. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> Like, yeah, he just sort of moves in a straight line as fast as he can, like, down to the southeast. And then we swarm in behind them. Have that oh, gazer hit those back man. walls. My friend is maybe a little strong. Collapse the pocket. I, how far can he yeet that gazer in one round? Yeah. 60 feet. Can it then turn and fire its beams even after that? Uh, not if not if it t takes a full sixty. Oh, feet. that would be the dash. Yeah, it could take. Wait, did several of them there. rolled. Yeah, God, several of them rolled twenties. That's bad. Oh well, I rolled a twenty-two, so it's fine. What are you gonna do? Die. User can probably see more of what's. Uh... Oh, sixty feet is a long way in this tunnel. You actually wouldn't need it. You could hit that back wall for thirty. Go for three, little gazer. Get in the paint. That's different than three. <laughs> you could move in and start blasting. Blasting makes you feel good. Well, I guess in the initiative order. Yeah, yeah. Is, does the gazer have initiative? No, he shares my initiative, so oh. not good. Gazer will not be alive when it's gazer turn. <laughs> first in, first out. Bye -bye, Gazer. I, I guess all of the bad guys are in the turn order. Yeah, this is a shitload of them. They got twenties. At what point do you get to detonate your Gazer and destroy <laughs> everyone around it? I feel like even if the Gazer didn't have a power, I would definitely strap it. And explode. Yeah, well, it's the fireball, the delayed blast fireball, my favorite shit from old AD&D Second Edition. 
basically grenades. Seems like something I would do. I think are they in fifth edition? I forget. What is what in fifth edition? Delayed blast fireball. Like seventh level. Okay, so it does still exist. Uh you can also make grenades as a artillerist. You you basically oh, yeah. imbue an object with <laughs> with an explosion and then you can uh tell it when to go off. So it's basically yeah. C four. Imbue a certain golden <gasps> face mask. I love the idea that that might be like concentration that you accidentally fuck and just like explode. What's happening here? Um, well, there's like eight hostile orcs in the chamber in front of us, and, and we, I believe, have, is, we is will bring on our we not be able to do something. Oh, I successfully argued that the, you, I'm not, only the turn the order only has the enemies in it. It doesn't have us, yeah, in it. so that's what I was I was waiting. That's for. Right, oh, not not on my screen. It's a school bar. Yeah, I thought you were still setting stuff up. No, Wait, I'm not on there. No, I, nope, nope, nope. Oh. We're not. Yep. We're not. It's all it's all enemies in the turn order. Sorry, I also, there's also a scroll bar, but it's that many fucking enemies. Yeah, no, I knew I went first. I thought you were doing something, Bringer. All right, oh, you go now, because okay. Um, I see you, shiny and crow. Ready in action. Ready in action. I'm not reading shit. I'm running in. Fuck you guys. <laughs> For now, they only know the gazers there. Yeah, well, now they're gonna know I'm here. I'm uh, I'm running in. It's gonna be incredibly obvious there are more of us here. Yeah, I'm uh, coming in to <coughs> here, and I'd like to well, see what I see. What would you do if fucking mad balls came sailing through your window right now? Would you assume? Or that no, that's, a that's not right. That's not where I'm going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did I come Actually, from? You probably would. Sounds like some kids would fucking do. thing. Um, I come in front of this guy. Trying to think of a logical way since I couldn't see shit. Okay, so I'm here. Oh boy, that's a big one. I know he's in the turn order, but you don't see how big he is. Alright. Wow, he rolled a 20 on his initiative. Like, oh, this one is, uh... Kind of concerned for our bird, actually. This one's like, hey, look at that fucking eyeball and bird over there. Got a nice pointing going on. Uh, this guy's clearly a caster, right? Sure. Because <laughs> it was Pop Smurf Smog. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna attack the dude in front of me with my quarterstaff. Oh, surprising no one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna assume that 10 doesn't hit. Okay, I'm going to hit him again. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I'm going to assume a 9 doesn't hit. So you that trash. Well. Uh, now I'm going to just try and punch him. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Our poor bird. Does he even have any hit points? Uh, that was 12. Does a 12 hit? Uh, no. <laughs> Did we heal the bird before we came in here? Yeah, no, I'm 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 full health. That's that's not the problem. The problem is yeah. I just took three uh, three swings and missed all of them. That's the Poor problem. Joe. What are you gonna do? <sighs> well, fuck! I didn't expect him to run into a million people that we knew were there because we could see them through the yeah, laser. Feel... Um, yeah, or um, I think these various really uh, kind of cur obviously cursed artifacts. Are... You guys don't have to do. You guys can do whatever you want. Just because I ran in here doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I like what you did. All right. I'll go help, idiot. Hey, I told you guys, if you want to try and pull him in, you do what you do. It's fine. Up here. Please. Uh, mods, oh. please rename uh, the, the, the campaign. The front. All right, let's go help, idiot. Let's see. The guy down on the left is the capster, right? Like, the guy that's... That guy, yeah, right? Sure. Instead of monstrous misfits, it's all right. Let's go help you. New pitch. I'm gonna put Hunter's mark on that guy, and I'm gonna shoot him twice. Off the spell slot when you cast it. 
Pop. I only have two left. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can do Ten. Ten. Five and this. It's a good one. Do it at second. Twenty-two. Twenty-two hit. Bray, I hit. All right, so I did. <coughs> All right, so let me roll the first damage. Eleven. That's the best I can do. And then the hunter's mark. Two. So thirteen damage to that guy down there. Okay, Piper of Lynn is your turn. Really not well laid out at all. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna close distance uh, as uh, forty is actually my regular move as a sixth level. I think. Right? Yes, my walking speed. So I could do that. Well, we're not. We don't care about stealth right now, right? Everybody knows where the fuck we are. Uh. So I could like dash into combat. You, you yeah, if you dash, them. you can't attack though. I know, but dash and rage, and then be ready for next turn. I don't think you can dash and rage. Rage is a bonus action. If you dash, you're you're done. Okay, but a well, bonus I can go doesn't use your action, so he could dash and rage. Is rage an action or is it a bonus action? Action. Rage is oh. a bonus. Yeah, it's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, rage is a bonus, so he can't dash and do that. Or no, never mind, you're saying dash is an action. Ignore me. Yes. Yeah. So it's move, dash, bonus <laughs> is rage right. when I, where I stand. Yeah, I got I got it. Sorry. But not uh where would that be that would be worth would... doing? Oh god, I forgot how this thing works. It would be useful to try to funnel some a lot of these guys are melee enemies. Try to funnel them towards the choke point, where they are clumped for AOE, and we can not fight them in the middle of a big dumb room. But okay, what's the practical application of that sentiment? I mean, the monk's already in the middle of the big dumb room, so I'm not Don't really sure. Don't worry what about the monk; it's fine. You can shadow step. It's so dark in here. Uh, I just have to dodge to every single thing that attacks me. It'll be fine. So, I mean, do you want me to go up here and say, hey, fucker, and then come back? <laughs> like, Or should I just take up a position at the choke point and rage? and Because I can run back next turn and get back on the other side of the choke point. When, okay, so I'm going to... to moving up to hold the choke point and raging... <laughs> Yes, you can move, rage, ready, and action. Also, my rage may fuck everything up because of the magic element. <laughs> Ult ultimately, my goal when I came in here was to hit this dude and then shadow step away. I got blinded by the fact I kept missing and wasted my bonus action. That's what actually just occurred. So, it's my problem. Okay. Enough dithering. I, I am idiot thing. I have moved to this choke. I am raging, so we can move things along. And four is that the arcane choke? energy enshrouds you until you rage ends. You gain a plus two bonus to AC whenever a creature within ten feet of you hits you. That creature takes force damage equal to your con modifier. So I don't believe that would like disrupt anything for right now. Like so somebody am... the choke. That's pretty good. Yeah, bonus to AC. Could they get knocked? I don't know if it knocks back. It says force damage. Uh, I don't know. Force damage equal to your constitution modifier. I guess I don't you decide if that means they get knocked back. It feels kind of like one of those, like like a kinetic shield is what they're describing. But Okay, well, make a wisdom saving throw. Who, me, though? Because I'm by yeah, the though. wall, you think? Uh... No, because this guy's looking at you and oh. trying to hold you. Oh, he's trying to do some magic? I hate that. Shit. This is my wisdom saving for plus one. So good. Such a smart lizard boy. It's a 13. 
Can I get can I get a help action? <laughs> uh, to make a saving throw, I don't think so. Unless somebody can rapidly bless me or something. <laughs> it <laughs> is a cattle hold that you're held by. A what now? It's hold a concentration spell. He's concentrating to hold you in his grasp. Is it is it okay. um is it this? Wait, how do I? Hey, then I'm I'm holding the choke by keeping that guy out of the fight. Do I ping the map again? Uh, you have, so to, have you the have arrow have selected arrow. and then hold oh, down the mouse button. This guy, right? The cast it. Yes. Yeah, he can see. You're in luck, five. He's about to get chilled with some get crossbow. He saw me at some point, I guess. Maybe as the I walk fuck? over to that wall. That's not a lot of damage by being rolled all at once. I rolled every single one of my dice because I was bored. That'll happen. I did get a natural 20 on the, on the d20. The idle rolling, I would say, the courtesy is to mute if you're Ruben. <laughs> I'd try. To. I didn't expect it to be that loud. Because I would a, a couple times. coffee table next to me and it would be like... That was very loud. It's not a computer yeah. Just a fake wood. And okay, uh, I think Glojo and Adam are lucky here. Um, Mediator... <laughs> God. Um, Where's Adam? Oh, Adam's the and gazer. I'm in cover. <laughs> mediator and Dole and Mediator's skeletons and Owl need to make dexterity saving throws. Is he, is, he ca- is he casting something at me? Yeah, he's casting a lightning bolt at you. Do it. Do oh, it. Yeah, now, now oh. who's the idiot who ran into the room? I counter I counter lightning bolt. That's probably a really good thing to counter himself. <laughs> Is your counter spell what the fuck are you doing casting lightning bolt inside? Is that the, yeah. the verbal component? Uh, Piper, did you get stuck so inside of the like, 1970s transistor radio? Nope, that's somebody else echoing. Because oh. I can go on mute and I heard you back. Uh, if it's. Is he casting lightning bolt at third level? Uh, yeah, I'm casting it. Yes, it is certainly. Okay. If it's if it's third level, then counter spell automatically nullifies it. Sound. I would have. I probably would have heard a lot. It would have hurt you. I'm sure it would have. Thirty thirty-five is a lot. When, 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 when you never know about, so he didn't do that. So when when you when you say make dexterity saving throw, uh, Adam is the one who the reaction. And your shit's fucked up. Okay, let's see what I can do about it. Yeah, counter, counter spell is probably a good spell. Yeah. When you make the saving throws, does whatever we have innately at, at those count, or do we have to actually roll it? You roll it. You roll okay. and use your saving throw modifier. Ahoy, Adam. Got a little bit of echo still, but it seems better. This guy is attacking Beedroll with advantage because he is doing a reckless attack. Ooh, that's good, though. For, you know, after. And... Uh, so 23, uh, blue hits. Yep. Deflect. I can't deflect if it's an d- attack. It has to, or a th- it has to be a thrown attack. <laughs> well, he gets you for five. Uh, when the average would have been nine. Sure. Okay. And... He only gets one hit per turn, apparently. So it is... Oh, this guy's got one. It's a million uh, bad guys until... Yeah, okay, this guy's going to hit Beedrill, too. What is your deck oh. saving for a modifier? 
two. So what is your dexterity saving okay. throw modifier? Well, what is your, when I don't know who you're talking to, doesn't mean it's me. It's seven. I, said, I thought I said bean. Oh, it's seven. Uh, 16 hit? Uh, it does not. I know what you're going to do, uh, Mead, and I 100% support your plan. <laughs> You'll be fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I feel like there's a lot of guys who want to hit you between now and your turn. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Some of them are Honestly, fine. the more guys he kites to him, the better. Okay. All right. This orc moves to here and then uses a bonus action to move to here and attack. Oh, I thought he was going to okay. rage. I haven't fought another barbarian. Twenty-one yeah. on Gorge. The dude right next to me did a reckless attack. Isn't that a barbarian thing? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm kill that no. fucker. This guy. I'm gonna kick his ass. Uh, Glojo, you take nine damage. No. Takes no. Nine, if he takes nine damage, he needs a Constitution. Uh, Saving throw to keep concentration on Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Eh? <sighs> justice oh, is born. Awful is neutral yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scales of justice are balanced. But like teacher, David you did. forgot to assign homework. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to assign homework. That is absolutely then I, I become a lawyer. The, the concentration rules have been flagrantly disregarded in the past. Listen. If they apply to me, they apply to everyone else. This is just slightly more structured Calvin Ball that we're playing. So, Joe, make your constant or whatever saving throw. Okie dokie. Saving throw versus ramen. No, 16. You did it! Uh, Joe. Use it to fucking put point blank arrows in its face. I can also have a sword that I can stab him with. Whip, whip. This guy's gonna try to whip the control. That's hilarious. Do some matrix shit. I just did. I didn't that time. That one hit. Uh, we'll use that shitty uh, six dice for the damage. Oh, you rolled backwards. Wait, aren't there bad portents we could be using? It's fine. Save the intro? Uh -huh. It's fine. I'm fine. Stop worrying about it. And... Right. I take nine damage. I don't remember. Yep, yeah, take nine damage. And does a 17 hit you? Who, me or? Lojo. Okay. Yes. 17 would hit me. Okay, then take another ooh, fuck, fifteen damage. Oh shit. <laughs> uh Luther, it's your turn. Oh shit. I am barbarian, not where bean troll am. So we'll move up next to mana. Still creeped out by the skull thing, but it's fine. And um, if I, I if I fire ball, I'm gonna blow up both. Uh, it's fine. It's I fine. Don't think anyone's concerned about that. Mm. I mean, is that why you keep saying it's fine? Like, literally, is it fine for him to throw a fireball? There? It's always fine for fireballs. Alright, well, that's, just, that's how I might, I I might kill Glojo, which I'm fine with. Uh, I um, mean, I, I don't have my auto-evade thing yet. That's next level. But it's still fine, because it will be funny. <laughs> you want extra crispy bird? You got it. So, from... I mean, I... I don't know what to tell you about the gazer, um, but <laughs> I'm not even concerned the gazer. Fuck, fuck the gazer, honestly. <laughs> that gazer helped you out so many times. I one. You guys are really not making... one. We we had better hope we stay on this fucking plane because <laughs> yeah. we are not making friends. <laughs> He's he is not people. 
<laughs> he is gonna tell everybody while he waits to be while he waits for Adam to somehow find or purchase a brazier. He, he will be telling everyone on the other plane about what dicks we are. And he'll meet those fart monsters, and they'll be like, "I know, right? You guys think you're better than me. You're not better. Oh, you than know me. mana. You you're know not better mana. Than me. You got something by mana, right? What a dick. What do you what have in the way of spell slots right now? One second, one third. Yes. So is there a fireball or something else or sacred flame? Shit. I was trying to figure something out. But I couldn't. I think I'm gonna burn my second and use. Um, I think you, you actually can upcast bless if you wanted to. I could. Yeah, fuck, I'll do that. Uh, I'll cast bless on four. Four creatures, since if you're using a second level spell slot. I bless mediator because obviously I bless. <laughs> Hype Rifle, I bless oh, Adam, yeah, I can get and out of I bless Glojo. Not Pedro. Wow, not, not <laughs> bless being... Skull Monster in front of you? Jeez. He's being pummeled. He it's... might need it to get out of the fire. Fine. I don't think I don't I'm need being... it. It has 30 foot range. I'm being held. I don't think you can... I don't know. Well, it'll help me break out next turn, maybe. It's, it's, a, good it's a good idea to put it on pipe, but I don't think you can hit Bean. I can't. So I do uh, or mediator, pipe, Adam, and Gojo. You're you all plus. Do, you can do four people total if you're using a second level spell slot. Yes, that's how I'm using it. Good coverage. All what is, right. What is happening with the that's crank bullet? Who's eating sun chips? Initiative Adam next and then me. Yes, it is mana. Okay, so the whole person is gone, right? No. No? Okay. All right, well, I'm going to blast the whole. I'm going to blast. I'm going to step a little blast back here. Pipe rifle out of his hole. Okay, got it. I mean, I can, I can, I'm, I can put my, my fist like. Over his Do shoulder it. and use him as cover, but fire past him. <laughs> that would be pretty half fucking great. I, would doing, I think you get half cover for doing that, but you might not get a line of sight on the guys <laughs> from there. Well, I, whatever it takes to get a line of sight on this guy. Fine, if I don't get cover, that's fine. All right, I'm I am your shield. I'm blasting the dude with both of my Eldritch Blasts. Uh, since I don't have a spell slot, I can't hex him. Uh, does Nate hit? Wait, no, uh, no you rolled I, the wrong I wrong. I did that wrong. I did that totally wrong. Like, super wrong. I'm, I'm on drugs. Okay, this is to hit. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I don't think a D4 would even help with that. I think I hit pipe rifle in the back of the head. Just execution style shot. Him. All right, what here's the other one. It was a light force blast. Right, so that one hit. Knocked me out of the hole. <laughs> Into the wall. <laughs> Twenty-one hits. Yeah. All right. Let me now cast damage for that. All right. Come on. Give me a good one. Fuck you. <laughs> Does that? All right. Now, what's the? How do I disrupt his concentration or whatever? Hit the guy that was concentrating on hold person. He has to make a DC ten Constitution saving throw. All right. Fuck you. Can you also trigger gazer beams, or is that your whole action? Yeah. yeah. It was enough to knock pipe rifle free. Good work. Uh, yeah. No, my gazer, it's me or my gazer. My gazer can't activate. Okay. Mediator, it's your turn. Okay. Um, Should I just roll now? Two, because I'm, I'm giving you a portent <laughs> roll of eight, which plus seven is enough to make your DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Amazing. I'm going to roll to see what it would have been I'm... without the portent, though, because I'm very curious. Uh, I would have failed. Um, <laughs> and I'm I'm fireballing everything within the Oh, wait, radio. no, that was a nine. I would have survived anyway. Sorry. I, I, so this dice, the, the number and the color of the die is both dark, so, so like, oh, it's hard to tell the uh, six sometimes. You leap there. to the northeast and just... So everything, everything, in, the here, everything in here takes a fireball. Um, DC 15 dexterity saving throw. 
Still taking half damage, though. <laughs> I don't have that feat yet. Or feature. Oh. I got scared for a second, thinking I was going to take double fire damage, and then half, and then I would die. <laughs> that was the end. Okay. Not too far, balls. These guys are rolling hot. Cheating ass, they know it's the computer's role, these computers are sticking together. I'm glad I, Fucking singularity. I'm glad I didn't try that. Jesus. I am glad I didn't what try to pop a hypnotic pattern in here, because that would have hypnotic pattern would have been a total wet fart. <laughs> All right, this guy and this guy failed to say is pretty awesome. Is Glojo yeah. uh does uh, Glojo need to roll two or is he out of the He was out of range? He, okay. He's not sure. Yeah. So he was out of range. The gazer is not out of range. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I can send it. Dear sir, madam, we regret to inform you. Wait, couldn't have Adam moved that on his turn? <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's not tight. Yeah. <laughs> the gazer looks back while Adam fucking cranks a submarine door shut, seals him in. I do not think <laughs> I can make him move because I have to possess him as. I basically have to possess him, so no, I don't think I can do that. Could you I'm be like, sure. come here, boy? Like, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. He's a, he's, a, he's a floating target out there. It's fine. Go back to your home dimension for chill for a bit. 13 or 26 uh, fire damage uh, to everything in yeah, this so radius. Yeah, you killed these two guys that failed their saves died instantly. Oh, the barbarian! I was gonna kill uh, the ones that passed their saves. Uh, oh no, wait, that guy's still alive. All right, he's not dead. He just took a lot of damage. Thirteen, right? Thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the one right next to Glojo is barely alive. Um, the two caster type guys are. Also alive. Uh, the one right hit. north of Bean Troll is pretty hard. Wait, which um, Let's which of these guys by his head um, uh, Glojo shot at? Was it the guy on the right? The orange, the, the left green guy. The, the, right. the one that's all green. Anyone? Okay. Um, bonus action skeletons uh, shoot the green guy with arrows. Spooky, scary skeleton. Um, which fire rifle fly? Um, I should have blessed. I think I lost. Things. I'm pretty sure I lost the skeleton at some point, but that's okay. Um, oh, got shark. Just wanted to go. I had four total. I have two. His sprite is <laughs> here somewhere. First one. Them use short bows because it's just easier to keep track of short bows. Do either of those hit? Uh, yes, actually, they both hit. One or both? Both. And eight damage. total on the green guy uh in addition to the, in addition to the 13 from the fireball Bertie, i hear bernie coming through my head okay. sounds like he's in my house lecturing me about medic i also did 13 to that guy so that's what 26 and 13 is 40. this guy comes out and shoots at Kojo with his arrow bow Shit. What is that? It's a 2. It's a 2d20 se underscore 6 again. The right. non <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I do think Adam probably had could have gotten to use Bless on his Eldritch Blast rolls. Oh, well, he, he rolled a 1, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it would have stayed. Yeah. Beans roll. Oh, fun. Produce guys. Yay! Does a 25 and a 24 hit? Uh, yes, they do. Don't be dead. It's fine. I mean, you know, it's your right. Is it American? Wait. 
Uh, go ahead and roll that that damage die, so I can roll my counter damage die. Um, so where's my one d ten? Where are there two? Um, okay, so the first right. one, I I it's one d ten plus ten. So the first one I completely negate the damage from. Um, and I am going to grab it, spend a key point, and chuck it back at him. Nice. Um, and I have to remember what my ranged attack is. It's fucking hell. Okay. Um, that is... going to be a 22. Okay, that'll hit. And that's 6 damage. But I do take the 8, because it's a reaction. I can only do it once. <coughs> and that's your turn. Okay. I still don't see anybody but being troll turn order. Being troll and bad guys. Well, I guess you're fucked. I know I had a 20, because I remarked that I it was the same when I got the other fight we had. Right, but I have a 24, so... I don't know when you yeah, go. Yeah, I just yeah. I don't know when everybody else gets to go either. That was what I'm wondering. Don't worry about. Patrol's first in the line, then it's me, then it's you, then a bunch of the monsters go. Okay. Um I also, would like I may to, have to break not not too much longer. I would like to hit the guy yeah. with the skull icon because he's I think he's hurt, but he's not dead. Um he's hurt but he's not dead. The guy to your north is more dead. Okay, uh, then uh, I'm going much to weaker. I'm going to actually hit the, the guy, guy above me first. Then the guy to your right is a tougher dude. You get the healing. Okay, um, so I'm going to. Do I want to do this? Hold on, because I'm looking at my health. <laughs> and do they just want to escape. Do we have any AOE that we use to cover you? I mean, I can get out of here. That's not a problem. It's just that if I attack, it'll be harder to get out of here. That's it. Yeah. Or once I, you get I out guess, of there, we DM, the can I ask a question? Fire. If I run First. through here, will I get an opportunity to attack from this guy? You get one from the two guys next to you? No, that doesn't matter. That, that, ignore that. If I ran through here, would either of these be able to take an opportunity to attack since they are focused on Gojo? I'm going to say no, because they've got their backs to that area of trying to fight Glojo. And keep him okay, there. cool beans. I'm going to attack the guy in front of me. With my quarter staff. That is 14. Does that hit? Uh, that actually hits that guy. Okay, that's 10. Uh, that knocks him to the ground. Dead. Okay. Uh, Crush his larynx. <laughs> So then I'm going to One attack to stop this guy with, with my bow staff again. That is another 14. Uh, that misses this guy. Okay. And then oh, I'm... Sorry, that actually hits this guy. Sorry. Oh, that hits that guy too? I didn't yeah. do much damage because I rolled shitty. Um, so that's a 5. Um, I'd like to expend a key point, though, to um, try and stun him. It's a con yeah. save of 14. Well, that's a save. Ooh, he saves. Okay. Uh, bo bonus this? action. I'm going to shadow step out of here. Um, I should be able to see here, reappear here, and then run up here. <laughs> nice. Hi. And when I say run up, hold on. Let me figure out the distance. I had to move my screen. I'm going to hang out by the bird. Hi, I'm gonna go hang out by my. I, I literally just sprint past everyone and run up here. Just Naruto running past <laughs> with your bird on the left behind you. This is good. Right. Good Joe. chitin. It is your turn, Glojo. Glojo. Oh, Joe. You fall asleep. 
Blessed. Wait, am I blessed okay. now? Yes, it's your it is your turn. Okay. So <clears throat> I want to try to leave. Can I move after I attack? They will get no. opportunity attacks if you leave the area while they are on. And use disengage as your action to get back through the choke without provoking an opportunity attack. But that's your action, so you can't also attack. Try to use regular movement and then attack, but you'd provoke opportunity attacks from both of the guys that you're adjacent to. Discretion may be the better part of Valor here. I also have Horde Breaker. Where I can yeah, hit them again. So once each of your turns, when you uh, make a weapon attack, you can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature that's within five feet of the original target and within within range of your weapon. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but these guys weren't hurt by fireball. So I don't know if one attack each is going to get you out of there. They will be. You could also take disengage as an action and just leave. You don't get an yeah, attack. Yeah, that's what me said. Yeah. This guy yeah, did hit by the fireball. This guy did not. Well, I'm going to disengage anyway and leave. That's a shitty place to be. Yeah. It's my turn, but I don't have any reach. Should move I'm you not going your dude, though. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of uh, line. No, of Glojo needs to move his. Oh, dude. Glojo, yeah, move your, uh, yeah. If I think six, can six, I really six. break the concentration hold over you so you could hide? Do you want me to fill the choke? Like, I mean, I should probably <laughs> wait until we do some magic or whatever. At least throw a javelin. I'm you gonna throw some hatchets. Aren't you raging? Go up there and smash them with your axe. Can I be? Can I get a guarantee that no one's going to shoot fire up my ass? I'm not going to fireball you. All right, then I'm going to fill this choke with attacks. I'm going to fireball him. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm just going to do this one guy in the. Is he actually still facing backwards? Is he so stunned as how Glojo ran away? They turned when he ran past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can. You can fight. I mean, but do I get advantage? Well, I will because I'm gonna recklessly attack the spirit. Uh, and I'm glad I did. Oh fuck! Hey, <laughs> you get another attack. Oh, I do it again. That's fucking just. <laughs> 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 He filled, he filled the choke with that attack. I'm in the choke. I got my high AC going for me, so that's... The... Uh, oh, yeah, what happens if he... Yeah, so if anybody hits me, they take force damage. So, yeah, I don't need... I won't hit intentionally, but if they try to hit me, I'll do some damage. <laughs> Wait a second, you're yeah, blessed. You Hold on. You're oh, blessed. So... Well, but... What a maybe a D4 could have saved that. A D4 well. could save some of my. I don't know. Try it anywhere. Okay. <laughs> could have saved one of them. Two of them, I guess, actually. Your D4s. Right, Going down the 13. Give me another D4. Let's see what happens. <laughs> right. Another 13. <laughs> so that is a 13 and a 13. Another 13. If you're going down the list and adding the no, D4 to the two. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right. 13 and 10. All right, you hit him twice. 10 plus 3 right, and a 12 plus 1. Sure. Oh, nice. Whack away. I would have not. Whack him off. Yeah, that. Oh. Well, Do not waste uh, my precious tidings. That's good. Well, yeah, good memory. I mean, I'm about to blow you up, so I might as well give you something. Well, <laughs> yeah. But before that, I do 25 to this. Well, you chopped that orc to bits. He did. Nice. Uh, move down there. Chop, chop. Can I... Uh, can I do... If you still have movement, you could move a little bit farther. Oh, can you split the move? Yep. Yeah. 
I mean, I was thinking more like move back to clear the way for the fireball that Luther's chanting about in the background. Well, they're all gonna move in a second, so yeah, and they're sure. gonna get they're gonna get in that choke. So I'm gonna hop back near Glojo. You're the that will be the end of my tank, talk. asshole. Well, why am I always acting as the tank? I just want to point out that I do all right. do that all the time. All right, then I'll fucking stay here and get fireballs. I can't. <laughs> It's because you have half. Oh, no. oh, I yeah, I got the tank. I've got sixty-five Move. hit points and currently uh, fucking seventeen AC. So let's go. I am staying in the choke, but also I got ramen cooling on the counter. One hundred and thirty effective hit points and got physical attack. We play and because I'm raging. I have uh, yeah resistance, so I will take half damage from piercing, slashing, or bludgeoning damage. Which I always forget about. So fucking do here. All right, that guy misses. Yeah, you definitely were taking more damage during the last session than you should have been. Yeah. I fucking always forget for some. I need like a light that says rage that I turn on next to my monitor. <laughs> so it reminds me that I'm rage underneath it. What's that? List of effects underneath it. Yeah, it could be like a little light up uh, transparency card, and then uh, maybe a little I, button that you push to, to show I mention, how many times. Get, I've... If I mentioned that you get advantage on strength ability checks while you're raging. Yes, I do remember that. I don't have a lot of the ability checks though. This guy what? turns around instead of moving towards pipe rifle, he moves towards a kobold who had been cowering in the shadow of a large crystal egg dropping. And he smashes at him with a quad gauntlet. Seems rude. What a jackass! It's not ideal. What what did he do? I also he didn't add my plus two melee a, damage, but he got some part. Um, a cobalt that was cowering over the side here, and it, makes two attacks okay. and a quad gauntlet. I mean, wait, smashes the cobalt into a crystal. It smashes a couple of Nero crystals. Oh. There are probably more dangerous things he could do with his action, so I'll I'll accept that. I don't know. What if there's some kind of blood drinker down here? Well, I guess. Cross that bridge and destroy it with sharks when we come to it. Uh Bob Dole. Um Roll a wisdom save. A smart guy. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> All right. In the interest of hot food, I'm going to remain a wall here, and I deputize anyone who wants to give me my actions if you Eight. come around all the way to me. Plus, I do have to. I do have to bail. You are. And, all right. Bye. bye. Well. Do we want to, like, what do we call one more round? Back to Bean Troll, because he had the 24? Back to Let Bean, Bean Troll yeah, do his last thing. Round. Then yeah, yeah, we'll Bean, Troll, Bean Troll starts the the next, like, round three. Well, we'll yeah. pause it when it gets to Bean Troll. How's that now? Okay. Word. All right. Uh, so, Bob Dole, this you is... are now held by this guy. Okay. Held past magical, A magical holding snail spell. I'm supposed to do that. This guy so runs what's your what was your saving throw roll, roll Dole? Eight. I roll a fucking two. You're, with your bless. I'm not blessed. Bless doesn't Wait. work on yourself when you do it. Wait. I did not. I thought you blessed. Myself. I blessed you. I blessed yeah. Adam. I blessed Glojo. I blessed Piper. Oh. No. Oh, okay. And I said it I just ran away because I was surrounded by assholes. We'll shake him out of it by killing everyone. Seems He's like you were a type of so. The green guy that cast the whole person? I think it's okay. this yellow pool. The yellow one. This Ernie looking motherfucker. The yellow one? Yep. Beat up a kobold. Um, the green one beat up a kobold. The yellow one cast hold on pipe. And then this one hit. Um, or on Dole. Or cast, cast hold on Dole. This one hit pipe. He's hitting me. Yeah. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, 
Uh, and he hits you for two damage because of your fucking rage. The resistance. So it takes force damage equal to Pipe's constitution modifier. <laughs> exactly. So he takes more damage than he deals out of this fucking arrangement. Yes. <laughs> I'm fine, but I don't want to hold the show. <clears throat> I'm in it. I forgot what was happening with my magic arcane energy and shrouding me, etc. That's uh, uh this last guy is gonna try and hit you as well, Pipe. You know, like that, ga- you. that gazer is just chilling there. I think the gazer died to the uh Yeah, the gazer died to the fireball. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Gazer. Uh, this guy hits you for 12. Oh. Six oh. now, Pipe. Um, right. But takes... Constitution... <laughs> he dies. <laughs> <laughs> he takes six five rock damage just All from right. blast from attacking me. Oh. He, he takes, he takes uh, enough shock damage uh, from your bizarre magical spell that he fucking dies. Blammo. <laughs> Reversal of fortune. Yeah. Uh, Luther, uh, you can try to break your hold at the end of your turn. That's all I can do. Yeah. You got another wisdom saving throw, Dole. Better, that's 25. Uh, you are now free of your hold. Fuck you. You do uh, like. Mana. Oh, it's at the end of your turn. Button. Okay. Uh, all right. I can blast the dude. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna blast that dude back there. The one that me there is just pointing at right now. Okay. I don't like that dude. Because dude's a dick. Uh, is he hurt already? Yep. <sighs> See how it would look with a hole in his chest. Actually, I, I kind of think that that dude is gonna be a bigger problem. He's getting ready to put cobalt brains over a crystal and like make something explode. Um, that's if you can act. You have your your range um gives you a you have better range and a better angle to hit the guy in the back. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna hit the guy in the back. Go for the guy in the front. Take the shot. Um, Add your bless to your to hit rolls. What is blessed? What is the Just add any. Okay. Any good twenty plus to hit modifier plus one d four. Uh, okay. <laughs> that plus oh. five. I don't think a D- was, twelve is gonna hit that guy anyway, right? It might. He's a caster. Uh, no, twelve is just gonna mess up. That. I'm gonna try this. Uh, okay. right, it hits either way. Oh, All right, D ten plus three for the guy in the back. Oh, oh hell yeah! Oh my my! I, oh hell yeah! There you go. Blammo. He That's is what you very get hurt with messing with Eldritch smoke coiling off of him. Does my skull give me any? Does, come on. Skull <laughs> mask. That's got to do some damage, right? Actually, you know what? I will give you a 1d6 right now for this event. Yeah. Skull 1d6. Mask power. Only nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Adam, as you hit this guy with an Eldritch Blast, the slits that make up the vision that you have through this golden skull narrow even further, and your vision is briefly obscured by a reddish green blast emanating from your very eyes. It appears um, hitting this. Uh, or caster one last time um, yes. and dropping him to the ground. Yeah, I got Dr. Doom I beam second world. <laughs> I'm extremely concerned about this. It worked out, didn't it? Good things happened. Also, take five damage. I mean, that's you fine. Know, you know, some, of my, some <laughs> might say that that's a problem because I'm messing with the very fabric of life, but I have temporary hit points anyway because I have false life on, so. What do you have fun with that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of what I like things. about it is like in game it makes sense because like the mask would just heat up and burn your face <laughs> when you shoot lasers through. And yet I'm still gorgeous <laughs> under this mask. What can I say? No, you're the fucking you, you think you're Leo DiCaprio and Man in the Iron Mask, but you're the other one. 
The other Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> the other grosser Leo DiCaprio. You know, Leo DiCaprio in that other movie. Mask. <sighs> Eric Stoltz DiCaprio. All I'm saying uh, is I'm paying with someone else's essence. Is effect. this some sort of yeah. monk joke that I'm too beefy to understand? <laughs> what is 13 out of 45? Oh, that's I my health. No I know. That's I've never health. heard of such number. Do you mean 405? What is it? I did I did 104 again. Or 117 if you count being troll. <laughs> Poor cumulative damage. All right, whose turn is it? What's happening? It is mediator turn. I'm fire bolting the yellow caster. Oogie. And damage. Nine. Up. What? He, he, yeah, he. he. Uh, I hit him for nine damage. Okay, he is still alive. Okay. Yeah. Um, skeletons are going to shoot short bows at him. <laughs> of course. Don't forget that everything mediator does is followed by a volley of skeleton arrows. <laughs> <laughs> One hit hits him. One hits, yeah. Another four damage. All right. Thirteen total on the round. I do like that one of them just sort of casually vanished. <laughs> he has mysterious skeleton business to attend to. <laughs> I'm going to assume that it was the one that had one hit point. Like, the, um... like a big hailstone. <laughs> oh, knocked him out as we walked into the building. Yeah, it runs up and shoots. Collapsed the, the humorous xylophone. Oh, good. Try it, nerd. I was just waiting for Bringer. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> the old You're dead. Dead. <laughs> You just got fucked up. <sighs> no. <laughs> what I wanted. Uh, his second attack is also useless. This guy runs up and tries to do the same thing. And gets you once. No. But, but how many damages? For seven <laughs> fourteen damage. Oh. So that'll round down to a whole four damage. Wait, no. <laughs> That's not rounding down for here. <laughs> How about three? I want to hurt him, okay? <laughs> I'll take three. Take three if you leave me alone right now. <laughs> take your three damage and get out. All right, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll call it there with a handful of shenanigans for you guys to remove. Uh, next session. I can't take my turn. I just bleed. Oh yeah, let me. I just bleed. Turn. That's it. That's if all. You feel like it. No, no, no that's fine. We'll, we'll come back. I get it. It was. A yes, joke. it was a joke. That's it's it. That's all I was trying to do. I've been waiting for my turn to say that, and that's it. I did feel bad because it's you, and then all the bad guys. So like, you may as well take it. But I don't know what you would do right now, so we can. Uh, I, I have stuff I can do. It's fine. Um, melee guy next to pipe still standing. I'm assuming. Yes, it's, it's an axe. Okay. Uh, the three non X, four non X guys are the ones. The big. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs>